The thrilling excitement of March Mania is here in DraftKings Sportsbook, one of America's top-rated sportsbook apps, is giving new customers a shot to turn five bucks into one hundred and fifty dollars instantly in bonus bet with any college basketball bet. North Carolina listeners, don't forget, DraftKings Sportsbook is now live in your state. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Shannon. New customers can bet five bucks and get $150 instantly in bonus bets. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code Shannon. The crown is yours. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us again for another episode of Nightcap. I am your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85. Route runner extraordinaire, Bengals Ring of Fame honoree, Pro Bowler, All Pro, Liberty City's own, Mister Rail Rosado, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Yeah, please, please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap Podcast. Huh? Oh, Ocho, before we go any further, what happened? What happened? What happened? Ocho? Boy, what's that? What? What's that, baby? They can hit your boy two of these things. Wait, what wh- where mine at? That's it right here. Oh, you got how you hold on. First you got my little phone code. Now you got my plaque. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now yeah. what hey, 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 put this in the chat. What should Ocho do to get his one million subscriber plaque and wait, his phone code? Hold on. What I've should been, Ocho I've, be willing to give up? I've been doing it. I've been I've been I've been Ocho, showing they up. sent it to my house. They sent huh? it to me. Well, why they send it to you and you got my address? What, what the hell I look like the mailman? What the, what, I mean, I, got you your just, mail. I don't work for Amazon Prime, UPS, or the US mail post postal listen, service. I need my plaque so I can hang my plaque in my room now. <laughs> you know that, that they, need, listen, that, that I need is, some money to I need some know, money to put my bill for, man. I feel you, man. Listen, honestly, listen, I ain't won many awards in life. I haven't won many things in life in general. But that plaque is special to me, and I need my plaque ASAP. I need to okay. hang out a million, I, a million subscribers in less you than three won. months. You huh? won. You just don't have the plaque. Just like you know what you did. You know, it's like self gratification. No, 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 no. I know what I did, but I need the visual rep- representation on what I did hanging in my goddamn room. Okay, here you go. This is what I want you to do. Take a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you man. You hey, what, hey, what, what color? What color is that? What color is that? It's gold. Ooh. You get uh, where's the uh, silver one? Oh, hold on. Yeah, I, I need, I need that because the other one was silver. Right. Yeah, I you got, get, I, I got that, I got that one hanging up. You get this one for silver. Yeah. This one for gold. What's the next one? What's the next color? That, I don't know, but you got to get 10 million subs before you get that. Okay, okay. Well, we go, we gonna get there. It's diamond. Gonna, it's diamond. diamond. Yeah. Okay, we gonna we gonna get the 10 million. I I don't know I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna get the 10 million. But that I thing feel, look and hey, that thing I look feel, good too. I feel very fortunate and blessed because I have two one million subs, I have two hundred thousand subs. So uh the support has been amazing. Um uh, people in the chat say you might have to give up McDonald's for a year. Okay, now you for keep, six I, months. okay, you can keep it. You can keep it. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You can keep it. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't listen. I ain't giving. I ain't. Hey, I'll make my own goddamn plaque, but I ain't. You giving can't up make McDonald's. that one. You can't make good good luck. Let's huh? see you replicate that plaque. You oh. made a gold jacket. Let me see yeah. you replicate that plaque. <laughs> hey, please, please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap Podcast feed. You can't listen to us through the uh, Club Shay Shay feed, but we would greatly appreciate it if you signed up through the Nightcap podcast feed. Thank you guys for selling out Shay by Laportier. We have pinned the link at the top of the chat. Uh, we are back in stock, and we're taking, but we're only taking pre-orders. We're going to feel we are, uh, we're fulfilling the orders that we had ordered uh, January, February. We're fulfilling those orders uh, and December orders. But we should have enough. Uh, if you were to order, we should have enough to fulfill your order. So thank you guys for doing a great job of selling out that. Ocho, let's jump right into it. Our first segment of the night is a news cap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the NFL will, will not propose a ban 
the Tush will not propose ban for the Tush push in 2024. NFL executive Troy Vincent reiterated today that the Tush push will remain a legal play for the 2024 season. Mm -hmm. Is it best to say, let's just leave it alone. Somebody yeah. stop it. Yeah, that's all. Somebody stop it. Because if you think about it, there's only one team that's very efficient at the Tush push anyway, and that's the Eagles. They're the only right. team that seemed to be able to get it. So teams need to figure out a way to stop the Tush push. Or don't allow them to have short distance. Stop them on first <laughs> and second. You won't have to worry about third and one. You won't have to worry about fourth and one. But listen, they're the only team that are really good at it. There's no need to stop it. It's it's a part of the game. It's a part of football. And if we start, if we start making rules to stop some of the small nuances that that other teams struggle to stop, then they're gonna start nitpicking and finding other ways to stop other plays that people do do as well. It it ain't that big of a deal. I, I understand why people because Ocho before you couldn't aid the runner which mm. means you couldn't push him. Right. Now they said you can push him, you mm. just can't pull him. You remember right. before the guy would get close to the end zone? And 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 the the lineman will pull him in, the lineman will pull his pull ass in yeah. the end zone, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. can't do that, but mm. you can get behind him and shove him. Right. And so that's basically what the tush push is. You mm. But Jalen Hurts squat 600 pounds. Yeah. He has tremendous leg drive. Yeah. The offensive lineman, they get low. And then, you know, sometimes he hits the hole right behind mm. the center or the A-gap. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he goes a little further off. And he has somebody in behind him that's giving him a shove. Right. So I agree with you, Ocho. I think teams need to come up with a way to try and stop it. Good luck with that. <laughs> um, because Jalen Hurts has such leg drive that mm -hmm. it's really hard for teams to stop him. Yeah. And they've done a great job. They've mastered it. They were the first team that we saw do this. Mm -hmm. They've gotten really, really good at it. We've mm -hmm. seen a lot of teams try to replicate it. Right. But none of them to the success no. of what this. Josh right Allen close. is about the closest, but Josh Allen is 6'5", 255 six, six pounds. pounds. So yeah, yeah. So uh, good luck trying to stop that. But uh, I think they're going to leave it alone. I mean, they've tried this, what, the third year in a row? Yeah. That they've had discussions about stopping mm -hmm. it, and they haven't come up with a uh, – they haven't said, nah, we're going to leave it in one more year. Listen, it's, 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 it's part of the game, man. It's part of the game. It's football. And um, defensively, you just – listen, crowd the box. Crowd the box even more. Shoulder pad is shoulder pad. Low man wins, leverage. That's that's all it is. You just got to fire off. That's it. And and then guess what happened? Now they low man, they fake it into the line and pop up. And they throw the pass down the field. Bingo. You know, but there you go. Let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. With Jason Kelsey retiring, mm -hmm. the all pro center, the all world right. center for the Eagles, right. will mm -hmm. it still be to have the same effectiveness? You know what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure there will be somewhat of a drop off from with Jason Kelsey leaving and another center coming in. But obviously, you got to learn the technique. You got mm -hmm. to learn the technique to keep that keep the show going. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, he's he was so good at getting low mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you know crawling and rooting people up out of there, getting mm -hmm. that. because the first you can, your center can't get stymied mm -mm. because if he gets stymied, where do, where does the quarterback go? So he has to get some backwards. Exactly. Yep, <laughs> exactly. So mm -hmm. he has to get some momentum. Mm -hmm. He did a great job of that, and the only thing you can do is try to guess the snap count, try to jump the snap. Yeah. But then that's when they get you offside and they get a free five yards. And so you don't yeah. even have to use the tush push. Mm -hmm. It's a very difficult play to stop. Yeah. The Eagles have done a great job of, of the technique. Uh, clearly it's something that you can tell kind of like a rugby scrum that they've mm -hmm. mastered and right. which they get the uh, low man wins and they know the snap count. So kudos for them for uh, coming up with something. But I'm glad they don't stop this play because somebody's going to say, well, you know what? Hey, Patrick Mahomes throwing for 10 touchdowns on this one play. Mm -hmm. We can't let them do that. So where, where do we stop? You got to so, draw the line at some point. You have you to draw the line at some point. They've already handicapped the game enough. Let 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 let's slow it down a little bit. Well, they about to have they about to have that uh uh, uh about to handicap the game again. NFL EVP Troy Vincent also reiterated the hip drop tackle is something we want to get out of our game. He added the greatest asset for any athlete is durability and availability. Mm. When you have a play that has 25, 20 to twenty five times the injury rate, mm. it doesn't allow you to fulfill your dreams. Now, I told you this, Ocho. Yeah. Said, Ocho, they're going to get that up out of there. Yeah. yeah. I said, I, because the injury is too great. You rarely see somebody get that tackle and come back the same the next play. They yeah. always limp off the field. Mm -hmm. We've seen Tony Pollard get injured. We've yeah. seen Patrick Mahomes get injured that play. We've mm -hmm. seen so many guys. Yeah. Dak Prescott got injured with the hip, mm -hmm. uh, hip uh, uh, drop tackle. Yeah. Uh, I just knew because the high rate of injury – that they were going to do something with it. Yeah, most definitely. I, I knew you were right, obviously. I think one of the things I think about, I'm just thinking about physics. 
the laws of gravity. If you have someone pulling you down, mm -hmm. I would just go with the fall. Right. Now that's the way to counter it. If they didn't, if they didn't ban the hip drop tackle, if you feel that pressure, just let it go. It's when you try to fight it, when you try to continue to get more yards after. But again, it's a great call for them. I mean, for Troy Vincent and NFLPA to act competition committee, competition committee, excuse me, to ban the hip drop tackle because a lot of players for one have gotten hurt. Some have recovered. Patrick Mahomes, obviously, he had Ended a up leading ankle. the team to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah took, took the team to the Super Bowl. But he did have a bad ankle. He had a yes, bad ankle yes, right off, yes, off, off yes, of that yes, drop tackle. Yes, so, yes. But again, it's a good thing, uh, again, for the defenders. The defenders now, you're going to have to be a little bit more disciplined on your angles when you tackle now. If somebody If somebody's getting away from you, I think it's an advantage for the offensive players as well. Because as you tend to break away, if you're a little bit if you're a little bit faster than the person that's chasing you, he damn they're gonna have to just let you go. <laughs> he's gonna have to I, let you go, even if he's an arm if, if he's an arm's length to be able to reach and grab. Now you can't. Yeah. If you think I about think the, it, it, Ocho, I think the thing what happened is is that they've seen this. When I don't remember this, now it might have happened because I was looking at the tackle. I do remember the horse collar tackle happening. Yeah. But there was not a whole lot. This this play has come in, say, heavily, like mm -hmm. the last five years. Mm -hmm. This wasn't in there when you first got to the league. You didn't see a whole lot of tackles like this, Ocho. No, no, no. no I don't no. remember seeing a whole lot of tackles when I got into the league mm -hmm. and even in, in, when I was exited at the end of mm -hmm. 2003. Mm -hmm. But over the last five years, mm -hmm. you see, you've seen a guy. And, yeah. Ocho, I knew that I could put my helmet on a guy knee a certain way that ah. I could injure it. Yeah, I know that. You know what's gonna happen when you when you drop all of your weight. Wait, two third two. Uh, uh, if you're a DB, whatever your weight is, one eighty to two hundred five. Mm -hmm. If you're a linebacker, yeah, you two thirty to two fifty. You drop all your dead weight on a man that's standing yep. upright. Yep. You already get, know what's gonna happen to get, to get him down. Yep. That that's yes. what I said. The only counter offensively for players. I mean, if you if you smart and you feel the force of someone with their weight on you, is to just go with it. Just flow with it, and it'll prevent injury. But again, this is the right call by the the NFL committee and the competition committee and, and Troy Vincent. But again, a lot defensive players again, yet again, are at a disadvantage. Well, they what they've said is that in games scoring mm -hmm. have gone a game to game scoring has dropped the last three seasons. Right. They want to see an uptick in that. Right. Right. That's why they that's why they instituted the rules to begin mm -hmm. with. The mm -hmm. defenseless receiver, uh, 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 the quarterback, the uh, uh, you know, not not hitting uh, uh, the defenseless quarterback, right. driving the quarterback into the turf, mm -hmm. uh, uh, incidental contact. They're right. trying. They won't score. The fans have already spoken. As much as they say, "Oh, it's flag football," you love that, right? You yeah. love the thirty-five to thirty-eight ball games. Mm -hmm. You love the forty-one thirty-eight ball games. You love the overtime ball game that right. ends tw uh, thirty-one twenty-eight. You got tired of the 10 sevens. Mm -hmm. You got tired of that. You got right. tired of seven six. It's just like baseball. Oh, the purists like a game two one. Right. But the fans, the purists, there are not enough purists right. that was going to the game mm -hmm. that was watching the game. Right. So they wanted to see a nine eight ball game in, yeah. in, in they baseball. Wanna, they they wanted to see, yes. they want to see the home runs. Basketball. You see what they did? They made the lottery. They spaced the floor. Now mm -hmm. they the three point shot. And now teams are getting up and down the court. And you see them 130, 138 to 135, 141 right. to 130. Uh, there was a game a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of months ago, 153 to 151. That's what fans like to see. I don't mm -hmm. want, and I'm not lying. I don't want to see, if I go to a basketball game, I don't want to see no damn 78 to well, 71. Well, I have a question. If yeah. you have teams in basketball scoring at such a high rate, does that mean there's a lack of defense as well? It is a lack of defense, okay. but they they the, the rules they call that I, I think they call a little bit more ticket tack. Gil was saying that the the uh the hand check they stopped the hand check, but mm -hmm. he said the hand check has always been banned below the free throw line. Right. But back in back when the back in the eighties and nineties, they arm bar you. They're like, yeah. nah, you you ain't you ain't you ain't backing me down. Right. But fans like scoring, no matter what the sport is, be it hockey, uh soccer. Baseball, basketball, football, people like scoring. They they know what that is. They 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 hey, the ball goes into the net or somebody right. crossed the end zone, Ocho. They know right. what that is. Mm -hmm. That's universal. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know who it was. I don't know who it was. Right. Hey, got Taylor Swift. 
Taylor Swift said, yes, yes. Yeah. We winning. Right. Who is we? I don't know, but somebody scored right here. Everybody else standing up. I'm standing up too. So uh, that's what we're going to have. So the tush push stays at least for another year. Yeah. And Tori Bissett reiterates that something has to happen with the hip drop tackle. Right. So I'm not going to be surprised <laughs> if they have, if that's going to be a penalty and you could imagine yeah, a fine yeah. that's coming with that. Yeah. That's oh, going to yeah. be a 30, it, even a first defense fine, Ocho, will probably it's, be somewhere it's, around 30, 30,000. Yeah, most definitely. Obviously it's 15 yards. If you, if you have to hip hip, if you have to execute the hip drop tackle to make a play, but also I think the fine, I, I think it'll start off at 5,000. I think oh, it's no. for 5,000. No, you don't think so? Hell no. Nah. Because the horse collar tackle is about 30, about 25,000. What's the uh, what's the flag? Can we look that up right quick, Ash? Damn. Oh, yeah. Hell, I'm going to help Ash look it up, too. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Hell no. Nah. Hey, hold on. 20, 25, 30,000 for a first offense? Yeah, I'm shit. I'm going to have to peel that. I'm going to have to peel that. So we, we need to work something out. What you got, an apple or orange? Because that's the only thing you're gonna peel. Hey, boy, <laughs> you ain't gonna get that fine. Hey, boy, I, they, hey, they, I give them a check. Post, uh, post date, post date. Don't cash uh, it yet. Uh, sixteen thousand three hundred for first offense. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, with the money they're making today, that's not bad. I'm stuck in my time. That's why I'm still thinking first offense is gonna be five thousand. No hell no. Nah. Yeah, they, they, they didn't went up. They didn't went up a little bit. Hell yeah. It ain't. Mm -mm. No, nah, hell no, nah, Ocho. I mean, bro, <laughs> when you, I mean, what you thought of? Bro, you've been retired a decade. Who? You keep, you, you keep telling that the cost of living, the cost of living keep increasing. Yeah, keep increasing. Right, right, right. Okay, oh, so, 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 so does the fine money. Okay, okay. That, that's why I said it, but the money they making today, okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. Hey, the fact that, boy, I've been retired a whole decade, boy. It don't. It you don't even feel. It don't even feel. Well, like it's twenty twenty four. So you did you play in twenty thirteen? You've been that. You've been gone a decade at least, right? God damn. Because you came in in two thousand and one. Yeah, I you came. In, you played, I, I, I came in two thousand. Yeah. You came in two thousand. Yeah. Yeah. What was your last year in the league? Shoot. I mean, which one? Because twenty eleven. I played in Canada and I played in Mexico. 2011 was your last year. So, yeah, you've yes. been gone a decade. Golly, man. Hey, you know what's huh? funny? Yeah, more than a decade. Yeah, 2011 was your last year. So, you've been gone about 13 years, bro. Because I've been Ooh. gone I've been gone two decades. Damn. And you know what's funny about that? I've been gone for a decade, and I can still play. Madden? No, I ain't talking, no, I ain't talking about Madden. Like, I can still go out there and play right now because I, I'm in such elite shape still because I just never know when that call might come. You know I, what? I, I never know. I, I stay ready. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Apple are shapes. Pear, eggs. Those uh -huh. are shapes. Yeah, I'm, listen, I'm just you ain't you, taking, know, you, listen. Your spidey senses. Your spidey senses don't tingle anymore oh, they because tingle. They've, been, they've been down too long. No, they ain't been down because I've been doing other things to keep them things intact. My spidey senses is on point. Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. When the last time you played a football game? Oh, uh, two days ago. Twenty eleven. <laughs> oh no, I, I play, I play, I tell you, I play rugby. That's a different type. The spidey sense, hey, that's a different, that's a different type of. We hey. hold on. You tell you just told our chat early in the season. Yeah. You get in shape for football by playing football. Right now, you say you sharpen your senses. Doing right. other things. Yeah, you could, listen. Let, 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 stay with me now. I'm, I'm with There's you. a way to work on all your senses without actually having to play the game. There are other things that can substitute and keep your spidey senses intact. That's something that I've always done, just in case. Listen, I would never play football again, but I'm just playing. I'm I'm just saying in general, I do other things that give me that same adrenaline rush. That same yes. thing of the unknown, the same butterflies. I find yeah, it in other a roller sports. coaster. It's called riding a roller coaster. Yeah, that, that's that's my life. You you you, you took the words <laughs> right out of my mouth. A roller coaster, boxing, yeah. playing tennis, like doing things, but at, at a high, at at somewhat of a high level, as high as I can get, and it, it keep my, it keep my senses going. How do how do you and how do you heighten your sense of taste without tasting? How do you? Oh, I, oh, how, I be t I be tasting now. Yeah, I know what you be tasting. Yeah. You know, you say it's salty. 
Well, it, it depends. It depends if she shower or not. I just say I got we 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 moving on. We ain't even talking about that. Oh, you okay, know. okay. You know, ain't nothing wrong with a little tart now, you know. A little tart, a little, little twang to it. But go ahead, yeah. go ahead. See, but see, I already know, but before rail came along, you know. <laughs> you you was up there talking about, damn girl, this thing tastes like latex. <laughs> Man, don't you, man? See, you got me. Let me put my, let me put my hair wrist back on. <laughs> man, let me put my hair. Let me put my hair wrist back on and move this conversation along, man. My bad. Jalen. <laughs> my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My Bears bad. Jalen Johnson says Caleb Williams can't bring that Hollywood stuff. Let's take a listen to the sound what Jalen told Kay Adams. Honestly, I feel like you just you just humble yourself coming in the building. I yeah. feel like it's one of those things where it's like you can't, like you said, you can't bring that Hollywood stuff into the building, especially now with guys who play this game. I feel like at a high level for for consecutive years in the league, it's just something that guys like myself, guys like Tremaine, TJ, I mean, just the the vets now, Keenan Allen. I mean, you just adding certain guys in the locker room. I feel like you we're gonna we're gonna see through and it's like nah that what you did in college the uh, the Hollywood it's like nah that 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 you gotta prove yourself come on Jalen come on I mean, Jalen you can't stereotype the man because he went to USC baby I mean you got the you got the Jalen you got to know you got to know Caleb Williams personally before you make the assumption that he is Hollywood I understand that's where he played he played at USC but mm -hmm. he's given me no reason to think that he's coming to the NFL with his old Hollywood approach, you know. But I, I, I don't, I don't think it's a slight on Caleb Williams. I understand what Jalen Johnson is talking about, just coming in, being yourself, you know, and just, just playing ball, doing what you did at USC, but at the highest level. I, I just Jalen, you got to get get a man a chance, get yes. a man a chance, let him come in. That's 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 your quarterback. That's that's your leader, you know. So I mean, I don't think even trying to be rude to be mean. Because I don't think he knows Caleb Williams personally to make that assumption that he's Hollywood based off the school he went to. What's understood doesn't need to be spoken. Come on, now. we understand every rookie coming there has to earn his stripes. Yes, sir. we didn't say anything, but you had a better believe if you mm -hmm. won an award, we want to see why you won that award. Oh yeah, be it Buckers, be it the Heisman, uh -huh. be it the Thorpe, be it mm -hmm. the Mackey. It uh -huh. didn't matter. Yes, sir. We needed to see. When we got to camp and we put those pads on, why he won that award? Yeah. There was nothing. There's nothing need to be said. Mm -hmm. What's understood doesn't need to be said. Oh yeah. So I think Caleb. We, I don't like. I said I don't know Caleb. I know who he is. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know him from a can of paint. Yeah. But I think he comes in there with the right attitude, showing that okay, yes, I'm a rookie. I'm gonna have to earn mm -hmm. being number one. That don't make you the leader now. No. You're going to no. have to convince, because you're going to have to convince a lot of those guys mm -hmm. that have been in the league five years, seven years, eight mm -hmm. years, nine years, ten years, that you can lead them. Yeah. That's what you're going to, that's what you're going to have to convince. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important yeah. for the quarterback to be, because he's the guy that you're going to be asking to lead mm -hmm. your offense. Man, and a lot of times the quarterback, for the most part, it's probably one of the youngest, especially in today's time. Because yeah. today, we ain't got no 13, 14-year quarterbacks in the league. Not many. Right. Right. Not many. And so uh, I get what Jalen Johnson is saying, but I agree with you. You got to give the man the benefit of the yeah. doubt yeah. until he shows you yeah. otherwise. Then you can say, hey, bro, pull yeah. him to the side. Say, hey, bro, hey, <laughs> hey, that there in Hollywood, that, that what you do, what you yeah. did at USC, that ain't yeah. going to cut it. Yeah, you know, the funny thing about it is, even when you say what he did at USC, I have seen nothing that would say, you know what? God damn, man. His mannerism, the way he act. Oh, man, he Hollywood. All I, all I can base stuff off of is what the fuck I saw on film. And if I yeah. was Jalen Johnson, hell, if I was goddamn Keenan Allen or a receiver on that goddamn team, oh, man, I'm hyped because I understand what I For got sure. at the helm that's getting ready to lead us. Oh man, I, and li listen, Buddy is the real deal. We talk about an immense talent. We talk about a generational talent. If, if the Bears organization do what they need to do to make sure they don't fail this young kid like they've done the rest of the quarterbacks that have come through that organization. I think the thing is is that you look and it's being reported that his last two years at USC he made north of ten million dollars in NIL. Right. You know why he got? Because he's that boy. Yes, yes. And okay. so you look like, oh, bro, you drive around Hollywood and you got a Lambo or Ferrari. Right, right, and, You know, right. you got all these deals. 
Mm -hmm. Bro, don't come in here with that because okay. you start from scratch. Because what we ask you got to do, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever check mark you you had at college, yeah, we're gonna leave that there. Yeah, yeah. You start from start starting over. You start over. Start new. Start yeah. new. Yeah. That's a a. Hey, that's supposedly how we do in a relationship, right? Oh, yeah. so no matter what, whatever, whatever she heard mm -hmm. about you, whatever yeah. you heard about her, yeah, we decided to come together. Mm -hmm. We starting anew. Yeah. That was a new me. New year, new me. Every time. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and I told I told Real, hey, li listen, put a Band-Aid on. When you come to me, you better come heal. Yeah. yeah. Come to me, come, come heal, honey. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time to play. But listen, goddamn, listen, chat, y'all excuse me what I'm about to say. I have a feeling, based on the talent that Caleb Williams is, that he can have the same effect on the Bears organization the city of Chicago, the same way Patrick Mahomes had on the Kansas City Chiefs, if they do right by him and building around that young fella, man, he's different. He, he's yeah. he's a phenomenal. He's a phenomenal. He's a come here, come here. He's a phenomenal talent. Look at look at it. Listen, look at my look at uh, look at my look Caleb at Williams. I'm doing uh, a no makeup challenge. No uh, filter, no makeup. We're sitting in the chair. Get out of the way, Ocho. Let let Rail sit down right quick. <laughs> I'm taking over night care. What's going on? Uh, What's good, Ray? How you feeling today? I'm feeling amazing. They say, uh, the chat say they, uh, we need you to feel. We need to have you on uh, a couple of times a week sitting in. I'm ready. You just gotta send me my notes so I can be prepared. <laughs> I'm gonna let Chad take over today, but you know I can't embarrass myself because I. So heard what? What does what made you decide that you wanted to go makeup free for the next several days or for weeks or however long you want to do this challenge? Honestly. I I'm I'm joking. I'm I just did it because Carisha has a song that's coming out. It's um no makeup, no filter challenge. People okay. With no makeup. So I just did it on TikTok and she just reposted it. But I feel I hate wearing makeup. Oh, do you? I do. Thanks. Hey, 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 uh, uh P Diddy. Get out the get out there. She just shit right on moment. Like, I feel like makeup add 10 years on me. Really? Mm-hmm. See, I look, you know, I look good. Don't be no hater. Don't, don't be hating. <laughs> he over here hating. Uh, he trying to take what, away my shine. What do you, you say? You need makeup? No, he didn't say that, but okay. he's just a hater. He just hating? Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, uh, Ocho, get your hand off your hip. Man, get your hand off your hip and get out of the camera, man. That real moment. Let the chance see real man, shine. Who, man, who you who you paying? You paying me or her, man? Come on, man. What we, we, the money we about, to me. We about, we about to break cut rail a check, too. That's all right. <laughs> but I'm, <laughs> I'm serious. Makeup, it just, it does too much. Okay. Kinda put it on, take it off. And men don't like women with a lot of makeup. Not a whole lot of it. But there's some of them put too much on, though, real. Right. I mean, and some I of them. Freckles, they, so. Yeah, some, some of them have it like you spread that on, but they do use the butter knife to put that makeup on. Too much. I mean that's that's too that's too much. I mean it you is. know it was kind of like when you was in high school or college and you kissed a girl and the whole side of your face was was, was like or or when you hug and and oh hug yeah mess up a white yeah 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 <laughs> yeah man oh you pay for this dry cleaning <laughs> right it's good talking to you uh, hey Chad all right real have a good one all right <laughs> oh man yeah man. Uh, 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 Hey. Man, you got you, man. You got her stealing my shine and taking my show, man. It's bad enough. I everywhere I go in public now, they talk about, hey, boy, ain't you, ain't you, dude, that date real? I'm like, come on, man, stop trying me, man. Hey, listen, we got, yeah, we got that's you. Listen, we got to simmer down on that, man. We got to simmer down. She can't be like it's like, like it's like have a moment. Nah, but I'm just saying, unk, they be embarrassed. I mean, like in public, they be disrespecting me. Like, ain't you, dude? What you mean, man? You know my name, Chad, man. What you mean, ain't you the? The dude dating real man. Come you on, Mr. Rosado. You Mr. Yeah. Rosado. Come on, man. We gotta slow down. No more. No more. She ain't she ain't get she ain't get she ain't coming on this shit no more. Fuck that. Yes, she is. Well, we'll nah. get real. We're gonna see a rail a camera. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Rail gonna be another room while you in one room, rail on the other, pop up nah, on the screen. Nah, because now she getting a little bit more more attention than I am, and now it's putting me on the back burner. You okay, Rail? That, hold up. Ocho, don't you want your woman to shine? Yeah, I want her to shine, but how her light gonna be brighter than mine? I'm, I'm supposed to be leading. I'm supposed to be leading. How am I lead if she driving? Well, right now, you in Eclipse right now. I mean, dark as you is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that is. Oh, Man. Shit. So check this out, uh, yeah. Ocho. Russell Wilson released a new workout video. New team, yeah. new workout Russ yeah. video, uh, from Russ. 
Uh, this one showed him working on his footwork while wearing sunglasses, mm -hmm. which led to a lots of jokes from the NFL fans. I don't know James why. Winston also posted a video of him taking snaps on the center in a full suit. Mm -hmm. Ocho, mm -hmm. why do guys feel they need to mm -hmm. post their videos? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Video? And I like it. I like the fact that he's posting his workouts, letting people know he's locked in and staying on top of what he needs to do. Technique, basic fundamentals, dropping back, pocket moving, pocket presence, throwing the ball, staying on point. So when he does get to camp, I'm, I'm sure Russell Wilson going to hit the offseason program. He's going to hit the offseason program running, letting the boys know, listen, I'm coming here to lead us till you know where. That makes your win contention. I like that they're posting this to let people know what he's doing and that he's not, he's not just are you doing well, it for people or are you doing it for you well for, hey listen Unc, it's the same thing when i when i was when i was playing i didn't have access to social media but i uploaded videos to youtube of myself working ab santana moss andre johnson like old stuff you can see so this is what they do today in today's era of the you know during the social media era you know you upload some of the stuff you're doing and it lets people into your life outside of the game of football okay you don't you don't like it no i don't i mean to each his own. I mean, right, right, I mean, right, like right. you said, I mean, this yes. is this is where we are now, Ocho. Right, right. Uh, guys uploading a lot of their workout stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really have a problem with it. Hey, look uh, at Jameis. Look at Jameis. <laughs> what, what's this? Okay, so what's this, Ocho? Hey, Jameis, Jameis, Jameis working on his snap. Hey, but he in a full trench coat. Hey, Jameis dressed like Columbo. Jameis dressed like Columbo. Get. Hey, listen, I love dude, man. I want you know, Unc, I wonder does Jameis understand or does he even realize how unintentionally funny he is? Like I, he's I funny, he's I, funny without even trying problem. to be funny. Mm -hmm. Oh man. I mean, hey. Ocho, yeah. Come on, with this right here, you know the kind of reaction that you was gonna get. Yeah, yeah. Ain't 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 nothing. It, ain't it'll, nothing it'll, wrong be, with that. it'll be it'll be it'll be like you out there catching footballs in a tuxedo. Right. You know the reaction that you're gonna get. Right, right, right. So it's to say, well, I, I ain't, I ain't, I just, just, I, I ain't know. You knew. Yeah, I mean, it's a good one. It's, it's nothing bad. You know, he just, just getting a feel for the pig skin. You know, it's, it's, it's been, it's been a long time. He just signed with the Browns. You know, let me, let me touch it a little bit. Let me touch it a little bit. You know, get that snap and that is, it's how just. Many, how many snaps he gonna take in? A, how many snaps he gonna take in a top coat? None. None, oh, but okay. I, 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 w I would hate for him to have to put on some Browns gear just to take one snap. You know, ain't nothing wrong with this. It's like what about shorts and t-shirt? But he, he was there to sign his contract, so he ain't gonna be in shorts and t-shirt. Oh, so he there to sign his contract? Somehow yeah. he found a center in the weight room and say, "Hey, yeah, yeah, this boy they, get some snap." <laughs> listen, I, I guarantee you that was the first time him and the center met, and the center might have been out working on some snaps and say, "Man, let me snap one of them things for you real quick. Let me get a feel for how it's gonna be." <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't yeah, it's just that. it's just different now. It's just different now, Ocho. I, I yeah. just think uh, sometimes I think guys, it's more for 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 show for show. Yeah, than... I mean, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with it. See, you you are a little bit more closed off in general with your personal life and your public life. So I think you're one who really doesn't see the reason for posting any and everything. And I, I, I kind of like it. Like, I want to see what the receivers are doing in the offseason. Justin Jefferson, Chase, the DB, Sauce Gardner, all them boys. I want to see videos because, hell, I'm I'm going to be joining them. I'm going to be joining them in the offseason to train. Hold on. Somebody tweeted, I love you, Kyle, but running. Uh, somebody tweeted about four hours ago, I love you, Kyle, but running and throwing in shorts or catching passes is pointless. When the only thing that matters is what you put on film. Everybody looks good in shorts on air against no competition. Right, that was Who's me. We... That was me. That was me. So how the hell? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That that was that was that was about Marvin Harrison Jr. working out at a pro day in front of NFL scouts when the NFL scouts have three years worth of footage of him at Ohio State where it makes no sense what he has to do. Russell Wilson throwing what stay with Did me. You now, me Did you have a pro day? Did you have a pro day? Huh? Did you have a pro day? I wasn't Marvin Harrison Jr. coming out either. I'm just asking you a question. Yes, I had a pro day. So let me ask you a question. I was also, I, I was, wait, I was also a one for one. So I had no choice but to show up to the pro day. What you mean you were one for one? I only, I only, I was on the division one level for one year. You forgot, but, you forgot the road? I took the long they, road. They got Juco. I mean, they saw you at Santa Monica. No, they ain't see me, but I wasn't nobody there. I want to, I mean, listen. I made my grand entrance at Oregon State. I got there and I got there in August and I was going to December. 
Four months. That's that's all I had. My back was against the wall. So I had no choice but to go and do what I need to do in front of these folks and let them know, listen, I might have bounced around from school to school. I might have got thrown out from school to school. My grades might have might not have been what they should to be at a four year institution. But there's one thing I can do. I can play some motherfucking ball. I can play some ball. So I had to showcase that when it comes to Marvin Harrison Jr., there is nothing that he has to showcase on his pro day or at the NFL combine because there's enough film, which is the only thing that matters, not what he does in goddamn shorts and shirt. I think the thing is, if they'd have had classroom on the football field, you might have been good. So they should have had stood up by 50 chairs in the class on the football field. Yeah. Oh, I listen, when I did. listen, when I when I was in school, I was I was brilliant. I, I was a 4.0 student. The problem was you couldn't get me to go to class because I was worried about playing football. That was my issue. My grandma always told me, boy, listen. Listen, stop focusing on football and get your goddamn education because if football doesn't work out, you got to have something to fall back on. And what you think my hard head at my hard head ass did? Yeah. Focus, focus on football. Focus on football. Focus on football. Focus on well, football. Get in trouble. Fighting here. Fight. I'm at Langston University. For one, Langston University, I get thrown up for fighting. Rest in peace to Dr. Ernest Holloway. Mm-hmm. I come back to my grandma. My grandma like, man, listen, baby, I've done all I can with you. I'm tired of talking. I'm tired. I wash my hands. She shipped me to my mama in L.A. First mm -hmm. time living with my mama, obviously. 1997, I enrolled at Santa Monica Junior College. First thing I'm focused on, football. Ask me how yeah. many classes I went to, Unc. Well, when you say ask me, that means none. <laughs> <laughs> Bare, listen, barely showed up because I'm out there practicing. I'm do I'm working out. I'm doing all the stuff. I'm I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing except mm -hmm. go to goddamn class. Shit, night come 1998, Unc, I'm ineligible. Boom. I got summer classes. I go to all kinds of classes to make sure I'm eligible to play in 1999. Mind you, that's that's this this is three years down now. So my right. fourth year of eligibility is goddamn uh Oregon which, State. Which, 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 yeah, Oregon State. So I, I obviously I got myself eligible to play in uh in ninety ninety eight no ninety nine and that one for one at Oregon State Dennis Erickson I never forget thank you Denny yeah if if you see this he gave me a shot you know they don't pass out no uh give nobody no full scholarship for no mm -hmm. one year man he gave me a shot man I went to Oregon State and showed the f out and I ain't looked back since so when mm -hmm. it comes to the combine and having to perform in front of people in those shorts and shirts that we're talking about, I had no choice. I, I ain't had no choice. It was too many red flags behind me for me not to. Yeah, I, I just looked, I looked, I took a different approach than you, Ocho. I yeah. looked at like, okay, I'm here at college. Hell, yeah. I might as well get a degree. I'm right. going to be here four years. Nobody right. was going early. Uh, uh, I, I think my year was the first year that guys started like really leaving early. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Emmett. Lamar Lathan, we had a, several guys that left early. I mean, and they were, you know, high draft pick. But for the most part, you stayed four years. And I didn't want to be one of those guys that I was further away from graduation when I left after four years than when right. I was when I got there four ah, years earlier. Okay. So okay. I was like, hey, I'm going to get this degree uh, because people didn't think I could do A lot of people didn't think I could do it. I know I could do it. I just needed to apply myself. Right. I bull jive around. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to be the class clown. I wanted to be funny. Right. And plus, I was a superior athlete to everyone else. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, hey, somebody going to give me an opportunity. It might not be where I want to go, but somebody going to give me a chance. Right. Because right. the football skill, the basketball skill, the track skill is too too great for somebody to say, nah, he can't do nothing for the, our university. Right. So right. It, it was Savannah State, Coach Davis, Bill Davis, rest his soul. He's like, son, I'm going to be honest with you. If I was drafted and I had the number one pick of all the kids that's coming out of college, I'd take you number one. Mm. Man, I like that. I like that. Go, oh, I was mm -hmm. gone. He could come in the house though. You know, we yeah. had that car. That we had a uh, uh, we had that car. We had that conversation in the driveway. Right, right. Because right. when I told him I was going to sign with him, um, obviously, you know, it was like it was like like three weeks, Ocho, before we had to go to camp. Right. So I was just sitting around like, okay, I like, man, I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the Air Force. Mm. So I, uh, my brother called me. He came down, talked to me, said, Savannah State still have that scholarship for you? Mm. I said, yeah, Coach Davis said, anytime I need if I wanted a scholarship, right. he would take me. He yeah. said, well, call Coach Davis and tell him you coming. Go for a year. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like it, say I went for a year, for, uh, you know, college, it wasn't for me. Right. I called right. Coach Davis. It had to be like 930 that night. I said, Coach, I want to come to Savannah State. 
Mm-hmm. He said, all right, home guy, dang, I'm going to put my clothes on. I'm coming down. I said, nah, coach, I'm good. He mm-hmm. said, hell nah, son. Somebody else going to come down there and sign you from uh, under me. Right, I said, right, coach, right. I give you my word. I'm going to sign with Savannah State. Yes, sir. Man, coach, you was at my house by 8 o'clock in the morning. I had went out. I had uh, uh, went out the night before, Ocho, and I had some money in my pocket. I was like, damn, I done lost my money. How, come how, much, you, out, wait, money on, how, much, how much you had? How much you had? It was like $48, $50. Okay, okay. But you That's know that was a lot of money back in 1986. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Especially in, in my circumstances. Right. So Coach Davis came. He said, son, I appreciate this. Uh, I'm going to take care of you. My grandma my, uh, my grandma never came out the house. Mm. She just ate. And that's kind of that's kind of how she handled it, Ocho. Mm-hmm. You know, stuff like that. I remember when I got, when uh, my homeboy, Ricky Thomas, he went to the same school. He was my quarterback in high school. He went to the same school that I went, that he went to Savannah State. And I remember he blew the horn that uh that August. We're heading down there. My grandmother was in the bed. My grandma ain't never get up, ain't never got out of the bed. Mm. She ain't a because she felt she had done done all she could in 18 years. Yeah. Giving me another five, 10 minute speech before I walked out the door. Mm-hmm. She said it wasn't gonna do no good now. Good. That's a good one. I like that. I walked out the house. I left as I left as a boy. Remember look back at that. Remember looking back at that house? Yeah. I knew what I was leaving behind. And, and I knew same, I knew what the sense. mission I knew what the mission was, Ocho. Yeah. When I got in that car, mm-hmm. yeah. It's just like, okay, go get it done now. Go get See, it done. So you were you was locked in. It took me oh, to yeah. understand what the mission was after I hit my goddamn head and fell multiple times at Langston, uh first year at Santa Monica. Got myself together the following year where, where I was ineligible. I had to get my grades right. Then it hit me like, hey, man, boy, that window of opportunity is about this big. Either you get it done now or the chances in your childhood dreams are down the drain. Mm-hmm. And I had locked in. And I did it my grandma way for the first time. And the first time I actually listened to what she had to listen say. to what she had to say. Look what the hell happened. Oh, Joe. I tell my kids all the time. I say sometimes mm-hmm. you have to bump your own head to yeah. realize how much it hurts. Yeah. See me telling you I did something similar mm-hmm. and bump my head. You didn't feel it. So sometimes my grandma say, "Boy, sometimes you got to bump your own head because right. we can do all we can to protect them, mm-hmm. give them a, a, they have access to things we never had access to." Yeah. But at the end of the day, they're gonna have to fall down and skin their own knees. You got knee, you got stuff on your shins, your knees from falling down as a child. Things that we try to protect our own kids from. So think about it, Ocho, what you yeah. try to do. You try to protect your kids from all of that. Mm-hmm. Blow it. It's gonna be okay. Don't cry. Yeah. Man, my grandma ain't never said not one time. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be okay, but my grandma ain't blow nothing. Right. Put some alcohol on it. Ah now, so now I'm screaming. You know, you don't see no, you don't see nothing but white meat, and she right. poured alcohol on it. Ooh. I'm like, what? Is-? So, and that 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 was the thing. And so for me, Ocho, I didn't want to let her down, right? Because she had done everything that she possibly could to raise mm-hmm. her nine and my mom's three. Yeah. And so I knew when she didn't get up out of that bed and say, "Son, now remember, don't drink. Son, stay. Yeah. Don't get out. Go out late." Right. Son, iron your clothes in the morning. Mm-hmm. Son, be respectful. Mm-hmm. I knew when she didn't give me that speech because she had been giving me that speech for 18 years. Yeah. She said, man, 10 more minutes ain't going to do nothing for him. And either mm-hmm. he got it or he don't. He don't. Yeah. I like that. I like I that. I walked out the house. Uh, uh, I was different. I was ne- I was never the same. I was never the same, Ocho, when I left that house. I was a, di- I, I was a different person. Yeah. And I remember my uh, my brother. My brother, like, he he could see it. He My sister would tell you. I was a I was a different person. I wasn't the same. I never I was never that same person that left Route Four Box Three Eighty Five on that August day in nineteen eighty six. Yeah. Even when I came back a month or two later when we had a bye week, I wasn't the same. Different. I was there was a focus, Ocho. There was a focus, mm-hmm. and I couldn't believe because now I go from showering morning, night. You know, practice. I would shower before I go to practice. I would shower after practice. Mm-hmm. I would shower because we, you know, we practice twice a day. So right. I'm going three showers a day, going to the bathroom inside. I come home. Guess what? Got to wash in a tub. Got to go back to the, you know, got to go back to the woods to go to the bathroom, the bathroom again. Yeah, yeah. I say, man, 
And now I'm thinking to myself, how many of my teammates have ever had to go to the bathroom in the woods? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ocho, I'm 18. Yeah. Ocho, I'm 19. Ocho, I'm 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Going to the bathroom in the woods. Yeah. I'm still taking a shower in a foot tub, mm -hmm. warming the water up. We would, I mean, when I would work, we put water in a, a number two wash tub. I don't know if anybody from the country, you can Google it, look up a number two wash tub. We, I would put water in the wash tub when I was working. So I come home at noon. We got an hour to eat. I would put water in the wash tub and leave it in the sun. So the sun would heat it up. Mm -hmm. So that's my warm water when I come home, when I get off work, to take a bath in. So I'm taking a bath in a foot in a wash tub. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm drawing water. So we drawing water out of a whale. We got a whale, Ocho. I'm talking right. about this, 19, this 1986, 1987, 1988, 19, yeah. 1988. My brother went pro in 88. So I'm drawing water. We drinking water from a whale. I'm drawing my water to, to, uh, to put in the sun to, out of the spigot to take a bath in. Now, many a times, my brother would take a bath first. We use that same water. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I know about them days. I would I, take I a bath first, days. use that same water. Right. So I remember going home after being at Savannah State and showering three times a day. Going to the bathroom anytime I want to and not have to worry about grabbing bug spray. The mm -hmm. spray around me because the mosquitoes tear me up. Yeah. Or it's cold at night. Mm -hmm. And I got a big old jacket on and I'm out there in the woods going to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Mm. I mean, I say this ain't for me. Listen, I, you know, you know, it's funny. You got, you got, you got people at times that come from different circumstances, but I think your focus was a little bit different because of you, you coming from humble beginnings. Obviously, oh yeah, your grandma and mm -hmm. and and what she instilled in you, you know, throughout your tenure as an adolescent. And mm -hmm. then when you get to somewhere like Savannah State, you have an appreciation for the atmosphere and the amenities that you never really had before so no. your focus was just different because of oh yeah the access that you had once you got to college and you know you, you weren't you weren't going back to that no you going back so it, it made it even that much easier for you to focus as opposed to somebody that comes from a silver spoon in their mouth oh for sure and they wouldn't oh, really appreciate they wouldn't they wouldn't really appreciate being away from home in college because it's something that you've always got throughout your whole life mm-hmm Oh yeah. Oh, and I remember Ocho and all my, I think I had one friend, uh, Stacy, my homeboy, his birthday, mine is the 26th of June. He is the 27th. He was the only person that's ever been inside my house. That was a mm. friend because mm -hmm. we didn't have no indoor plumbing. We didn't have no running water. So if right. somebody had to go use the bathroom, you know, you'd have to tell them a lie. Well, you know, the, the toilet broke. You gonna have to go outside. Mm. So man, man. So for me, Ocho, that was, I, I couldn't, I couldn't see myself my sister's age, my grandmother's age, having to go to the woods to continue to go to the bathroom. Yeah. My grandma in a my grandma in a in her forties, in her fifties. Hold on, Granny. And so that was 86. Granny was born in 23. So, you know. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nah, 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 nah. That wasn't gonna, that wasn't gonna work for me. That wasn't gonna work for me, Ocho. And eating what we ate, you know. Oh, see, I remember see. And people said, you lying. Ask my brother. I remember we had a, well, I grew up on a farm. So my grandfather would go get, from go to the grocery stores. Uh -huh. And you know, the rotten fruit, it got a rotten spot on it. They they throw in that, all the bananas that got, that's partially rotten. They throw they, that in the thing. So my throw grandfather- it, throw, it, throw it away? They throw it away, yes. Oh, no, nah, yes. let me get, let me get them. Let me get them. Let me get it. Man, let me get so, them. Man, you don't know, Ocho. So we had hogs. So my grandfather was getting the cabbage and the stuff, all the uh, the produce for the hogs. Right. I jump in the I jump in the knee deep mud. See, when people say knee deep, you yeah. know how, how your boy be in that thing. I'll be in that. Yeah, knee yeah, deep yeah, 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 yeah. I was in you. that knee deep. I'm That's where you. the term came from. Yes, sir. I be in that knee deep mud. I say, hogs, you're not finna get this apple. You're not finna <laughs> get these grapes, man. Hey, I get. But I go over there and get the, get apples, get grapes, get bananas. Mm. Cut the brown spot off and eat it. Eat it. Wash yeah. it off. Yeah. 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 So that was my thought process. I said, mm -hmm. Lord, if I'm fortunate enough and I have kids, my kids couldn't live like this. I said, right. my kids ain't built like I'm built. Right. They can't live. They couldn't stay mm -hmm. in one hour, mm -hmm. let alone a day mm -hmm. or a month or a year in my life. Yeah. So I mean, that's, that's the whole point. When you do have kids, you always want to make life easier for them so they don't have to go through the things you went through. 
because I don't think the kids in our era would be able to survive in the past. And based on what we had to go through, it's, it's, it's different. It's different. So many different rules are inclined to appease them as opposed to one small rule, being able to, being able to discipline your child. You can't even do that anymore. No. Nah, you can't. You can't. You can't. Ocho. Man, listen, it was a day, it was a time. Uh, I know you might, I don't, I'm not sure how it was where you from, but I know where I'm from. Now, if your parents, are, if, you, if your mama, if your parents ain't home, if my grandma, my granddaddy wasn't there, and I messed up and I did something, I had no business, all the neighbors had the right to beat my ass. Yeah. And then oh, yeah. when they get home and the neighbors tell my grandma, my granddaddy what I did, I get my ass whooped, beat again. For sure. Yes. You had community ass whippings. Oh, yeah. Because it took a village. That, that yeah. was my grandma's favorite line. It takes a village. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make yeah. sure if you mess up, I want y'all to make sure y'all beat his ass. And when he get to me, I'm going to beat him again. Yeah. That's exactly how it was, Ocho. Boy. Um, there was a respect level for all the people, all the adults in the community. Yeah. Uh, all that sassing and talking back. You don't tell me what to do. Talk uh, back to I who? don't remember. Talk, oh, talk oh you're not my mama. You don't tell me what to do. Man, they Boy. tell you up and say, hey, Mary, you know I had to cut that boy's tail. He was up there sassing. And he was doing this. Listen, do you see some of them clips with them kids talking back? Yeah. You already I know what I'm talking about. It. Talking about talking about their mama, talking mm -hmm. about their grandma. I don't feel like it. I don't want to get off the game, man. Shit, <laughs> man. I you can be in there watching TV, Ocho. My grandma said, "Hey, y'all get outside and play." We watching TV. Shh. Who you? <laughs> hey, <laughs> it wasn't no. Hey, it was hey. Hey, hot out there. I remember, Ocho, we used to like try to play basketball. Yeah. And, and we were playing basketball in the summer. Woo, boy, it's too hot. Y'all going to have a stroke. Come out there. As soon as the man come back from the truck to go in them fields. All right, yeah. boy, he here. If yeah. it's too hot to play basketball, but it's not too hot to work in the field. <laughs> I said, what? I'm looking, I'm looking at Spanky. Spanky looking at me. That's my brother. We looking yeah. at our cousin. Now, you just told us it's too hot to play basketball, mm -hmm. but it ain't too hot to go in that 100 degree. Hey, time, time was different, man. We hit the back of that pickup truck, you know, dragging our feet. Uh, I, don't, I don't know you to have, but we dragging our feet on the road. All right, boys, y'all be careful. But Ocho, those were the times, though, hard times make tough men. Yeah. Tough men make weak kids. Mm. Mm. Now, people in the chat, you'll understand what I'm talking about. I like that. Ocho, the Dodgers fired Shohei Otani's interpreter interpreter over claims of massive theft. Shohei Otani's in interpreter, I'm not going to try to say his name, has been accused <laughs> of stealing $4.5 million from Otani to pay down gambling debts from a California bookie who, here he is, the wire transfer came to light because the FBI was investigating a man named Matthew Bauer for running an Ill illicit bookmaking scheme, and Otani's name surfaced in the investigation. Uh -oh. Two $500,000 payments had been wired directly from Shohei Otani's bank account to Boyer. The Dodgers immediately fired Muzarahi, the interpreter. But it doesn't add up. Otani's team permitted uh, the, the interpreter to sit for a 90-minute interview Tuesday night. The interpreter told ESPN that he started placing bets on credit with Boyer after meeting him at a San Diego poker game in 2021. Mm. Got big poker game going on out here. I stay away from there. After agreeing yeah. to cover uh, uh, his losses, Otani thought uh, the interpreter still might gamble money away, so he logged into the computer and sent it to Boyer himself, according to Mizrahi. Their, their close relationship had once been described as a brotherhood. It was only after the interpreter interview that Otani's representative changed their tune. Now the claim was that he was a victim, that Otani was a, a victim of massive theft mm -hmm. at the hands of the interpreter and that he never tried to cover the gambling losses. It doesn't add up. It's not adding up, Ocho. Otani's yeah, so, theft so, claim makes a little bit more sense. So I'm I'm, I'm, I'm Makes a little sense. Okay, I'm confused. So is it theft on behalf of the interpreter and stealing money, or is it Otani one that likes to gamble as well? Because if if Otani likes to gamble, and we talk about baseball, we already know how they strike with an iron fist when it comes to gambling in baseball. What happened was, what I believe happened, 
because the the interpreter and Otani has a very tight relationship, it's described as a brotherhood. Okay. The interpreter has a gambling problem. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And what's the likelihood of the interpreter having access directly to Shohei Otani's account? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that would really happen. Not very likely. That, that, that's so, not very likely. So money was coming directly from Shohei Otani's account mm -hmm. to cover the the gambling debt. Right now, this 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 uh, illegal illicit gambling ring mm -hmm. is under federal investigation. Mm. So now, ding 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 ding, Shohei Otani. How many of them Shohei Otani you think are in the United States? Shoot. Just one. one, and it's that one that plays for that's not currently on the Dodgers. Right. So now, hold on. How is this tied to what's really going on? Right. See, it makes no sense. See, what happened was I believe he was covering for his. They're so close, they're like brothers because he's been his interpreter. Right. He's covering the debt. It's a bad look because it makes it seem like Shohei knew and was covering the debt. So now what's once it comes to light, nah, mm -hmm. he was stealing money because we got to clear Shohei. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Wait, hold on. Now, what are we betting on? I know we're not betting on baseball. No, I don't think I don't think he's taking but baseball. I think he's probably betting on football. Probably basketball, whatever the case may be, soccer. But, I, I but, don't know. But still, in general, now this is something you're going to have to educate me on because I don't know much about it. Now, as an active baseball player, are you allowed to bet on other things outside of baseball, or is that still frowned upon in the baseball world? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I, 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 I'm I not know. sure. I know, like golf, golf can bet on themselves. The golfer, like like Tiger, could bet on himself. I bet a million dollars that I'm going to win the Masters. Right. But a football player, because there's so many things, there's there's a lot of moving parts. parts and right. because the money is so substantial now, that's mm -hmm. what I couldn't understand with Calvin Ridley. That's why I couldn't understand with some of those Lions players. Right. Bro, you trying to win five hundred dollars and you make eleven million. You selling your money. You selling hundreds for fives. Right, right, right. Cause it, it, it made no sense. Now, with somebody back in the, the late like the uh the uh, uh the Black Sox scandal. Mm. When they gonna give you okay, they give you a thousand dollars and you making two hundred now. Mm. Okay, okay, that makes a little sense, right? Or boxers would throw they would fix the fight. Mm -hmm. But in today's game, why would a guy making thirty million fix a game fifty million, right? And ruin everything. Yeah, yeah. That, that, so that, 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 it, that it made sense. no sense. What makes sense is that the interpreter had a problem. He got in over his head, and so Ocho, remember I told you. I mm -hmm. lose a hand, I double the next hand, lose that hand. Now you see how you can get in, hole, in the hole. So as a, as a, as you gambling, hey, you done lost fifty thousand or hundred thousand. Yeah. Hey, double it, and I want to place this, 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 and this. And so that hundred thousand. Now all of a sudden, if you don't win, you're down eight hundred thousand. Shit, boy, because boy. But I, I, I hope obviously Antonio. It, I mean, and Shea hate. Sh Sh Shohei, God damn it, Shohei Otani is a crazy talent. Obviously, I don't even watch baseball, but continuously seeing him on the news for what he's doing. Obviously, watching him on ESPN, I've come to learn about him through there, understanding how great he is as a pitcher, as a slugger, and I, I hope, I hope everything goes in his favor. Uh, I'm not sure about the rules as far as him being an active baseball player and betting on other sports. I'm not sure if that is frowned upon in the baseball world, but we will find out. Look, I don't know. If I'm someone that's wired large sums of money. Uh -huh. And even when they're going to call me, Mr. Sharp, X came and wants to wire this sum of money. Mm -hmm. Do we have your permission? Mm -hmm. Yes. So they're not just going to be wiring five hundred thousand dollars from that account without making without without Shohei Ohtani oh, knowing. Okay, 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 no okay, 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 no way. I see where you're going with it now. I see where you're going with it. No, I see you going with it. Okay. Uh, so Damn. check this out. Lar Lar Larsa Pippen, Marcus Jordan split again after rekindling their romance, according to reports. Larsa Pippen is done with Marcus Jordan. She oh. officially she officially ended her relationship with Jordan, her boyfriend of nearly two years. After mm. a brief reconciliation earlier this year, Pippen has decided to move on. Report says Larsa realized the relationship is just not one for her after spending some more time apart 
filming a new show. She wants to move on, focus on improving her life. They simply want different things in life. You don't say. Oh, man, that's that's sad to hear. What man. could I possibly he want? I mean, first of all, oh, young buck. I mean, them young bucks, they ain't built like we used to be built. Oh, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. We used to be built. Because they say she like it two, three times a day, 365. Mm -hmm. Right, right. He probably got one and done. You know what I'm saying? He he ain't, you know, women, women, this is what we know about women. Uh -huh. They can look they can look up longer than you can look down. But that's that's what we like know that. for sure. I like that. I we, like we that. Know, we know that for sure. They that's can look up longer than you can look down. Right. He ain't built like that. Right. And he ain't like on them that. diamonds. Yeah. He ain't on the right. We, he ain't on got, them, we, he ain't on got, them power pellets. See, we, got, we, got, we got to get them uh, Flintstone vitamins over there to him now. Oh, Joe. Go ahead and pop one for me. Go pop one, pop one, huh? Pop. <laughs> See if he's on the power pellets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. hey, listen. I mean, I, I mean, this, this was. I, I thought it was going to be something. Obviously, most of the time when you have a couple like that, where the world is actually against you being together, you 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 kind of you you kind of want to make things work. That's what I would think. You yeah. kind of want to make things work, like the the not shove it in everybody's face, but just to show you. We can make it work despite what you you guys may think. You know, it's unfortunate that it is ending. But listen, Marcus Jordan is not going to have a problem finding someone new. Larsa Pippen is going to have a line out the door, you know, with people that's going to want to date her. I'm not sure if it's going to be um, one of the one percenters because if you if if you you go with any of the older veterans or those that are seasoned you know they 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 know the game already so you're gonna have to go yeah. young you're gonna have to go young you're gonna have to go young because the older the older folk that you like to be with and you like to date they, they already know what time it is and i'm not saying that's a bad thing yeah. i'm just saying the game is the game and it always see, has been the game but see ocho them young boys will see all them tricks you know your boy i had the tricks you right, know right, right 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 Right, you know the brush. You don't know nothing about that brush, though. See? Oh, I, oh I, I know about the brush. I ain't even you got know about no the brush. hair. I yeah, I, I ain't even got no hair. And I know about the brush now. Come on now, talk to me. I, I'm I'm with you when you're right. Oh, see, I'm, the brush is all about. See, the brush is all about. It's cruel and unusual punishment. Yeah. Oh yeah. When you when you like, oh oh, you talking like this? Yeah. Oh you, boy, you don't know what you get yourself into. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. You're talking reckless. You did the power pellet and you put it with the brush. I don't know if y'all boys in the chat know about them, know about that brush. Oh, they don't know about that brush. They're they too young. Okay. Okay. The, the okay. whole okay. chat, the whole, the whole, okay. the entire okay. chat, okay. the entirety of the chat is too young to know about the brush. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that there. I'm going to leave it at yeah. that. They don't know. They don't need to find out. But I'm saying, hey, <laughs> crime scene like? photo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that they chalk, chalk it up, Ocho. Got hey. crime, got crime tape around the bed. But that's a good one. But that, that is a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Ocho, check this out. Azalea Banks blast Beyonce Cowboy Carter era. I don't get why you have to be in white woman cosplay. Hey, well, wait. Let, let's let's stop there. Let's stop. Let's stop there. Listen, I love Azalea Banks. I have nothing wrong with her, but I think she needs to understand. She's a brilliant mind. She's very well spoken. She has immaculate penmanship when it comes to telling someone off. I know that much about her, but she needs to understand a white woman cosplay. You talk about Beyonce being dressed as a cowboy. Does she yeah. not understand the first cowboy was Bill Pickett in 1890? This ain't yeah, nothing new. The first new. cowboys were black. Black, yeah, the first cowboys yeah. were black. So I'm yeah. not sure what she means by that as far as white person cosplay because Beyonce is dressed as a cowboy. If I'm not mistaken, Beyonce is from Houston, right? Yeah. Cowboy attire is a part of their culture. What? Am I, am, what? I'm, okay. If I'm not how mistaken, that, right? How did, how did that hurt Azalea Banks? I, I, I don't know. I mean, that dissertation that she wrote, yeah. all she had to do was put that pen to paper and write mm. a song, write several. Mm. Mm. I yeah. don't, I don't, Ocho, nothing nobody else does. Like I say, I need to worry about stuff that's feeding me, right. financing me, mm -hmm. or effing me. Right. Other than that, mm -hmm. I got no, it doesn't bother me. Right, right. 
I, but Isaiah, Isaiah Banks is one that when she reads, she reads for filth. And she's good at what she does when she does read. I think she just missed the assignment on this one without doing the homework because the cosplay she's talking about, I don't think she understands or knows the history of the cowboy attire with the first black cowboy being back in damn near 1800s. Yeah. And Bill and brother Bill Pickett, you know, so it's really not depicting cosplay as a white woman because we damn near started that. Yeah, we did. Same thing as, as, as jockeys on racehorses. Yeah. The first jockeys were black. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because it was dangerous. Yeah. So who life mattered the least? Mm. There you go. There you go. Hey, but it's one thing. If Rustling you, you cattle. Did. That was mm -hmm. a dangerous job. Who did it? Yeah. So, yeah. but I, I don't get, look, she, oh, Jay-Z, this is not, look, it's a special type of person mm -hmm. that can pivot because yeah. we know what Beyonce is and what she represents, mm -hmm. but for her to pivot and do this, we mm -hmm. saw this with uh, 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 Darius Rucker, who did the blowfish? Yeah. Oh, we saw it. Who did he pivot? He goes straight to straight to country. Mm -hmm. Found home solo. Boom. I yeah. look. Beyonce is immensely talented. Mm -hmm. First of all, it takes an immensely talented person to be able to excuse me to cross Crossover. over and to yep. do what she's doing. Mm -hmm. I give her the one thing I can say about this. I don't know Beyonce. I mean, I've met her before. Is that? She's comfortable being uncomfortable mm -hmm. because this is not this is not what her you know, obviously she started out probably singing in the choir in the church and mm -hmm. so forth and so on and, her, and the group that they had. But to get out of her comfort zone, what she knows, she knows she can do what she's done oh, for yeah. the last decade and a half, two decades. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She knows she can do that. Mm -hmm. She probably got bored. Man, yeah. let me let me let me try something else. Mm -hmm. I commend mm -hmm. her. Listen, and it, it to, to me when it when when you're as great as she is, when you are an icon like Beyonce is, it's all about striving and wanting more and challenging yourself. And I think going into country and having and trying something different in a in a completely different genre that you're not known for is a challenge. It is, and for it's sure. it, and it's a successful one. And I just think Isaiah Banks kind of missed the mark on this one but if you don't know anything about Isaiah Banks um, if you don't know nothing about her it's one thing she could do boy she could read a motherfucker for filth and most of the time she's right most of the time she's right and she makes her points but on this one I think she missed the mark but what's that that's mine <laughs> whoa whoa how can you have how can you call and claim something is yours when you don't have possession of it or you don't have ownership of it? Well, well, technically like, I'm I'm sure I'm sure my name is on it. Is my name on there? It says presented to Nightcap for passing one million subscribers. YouTube don't got no name on it. They ain't put no name? I think they well, both of them for me. No, because if it said for Nightcap, I'm a part of Nightcap. I'm the night and you the cap. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to reach out to YouTube and ask can they send you another one, which probably is not likely. So, for a nominal fee, I'll be willing to send you your your plaque yeah, I need and your that. fun and, coat. Matter of fact, I know I know I know the CEO at YouTube, so I just call I call him. I call him after this and, and tell him to, to make me to make me another one. Uh, yeah, I I, 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 I I know I know people. You know, I got resources. My reach, my reach. I know you ain't got that like plaque. Me. Huh? I know you ain't got that plaque. I could get one. Since you know so much. I could get one, though. <laughs> they, oh, so they said that to me. They said, well, Mr. I know. Sharp. They sent it to you because they don't have my address. Okay. Somebody sent you my fun code because they don't have my address. So what would you like for me to do, Ocho? How do I, I make it right? I, I would like for you to take my fun code, to take my plaque, go to Amazon, mm -hmm. and next day it, please. And let me know how much it is, and just take whatever it costs to ship to me next day. Take it out my next check. Can you see that? Look at you, Ocho. You yeah, got a little beanie. That's live. That's yeah, live. Yeah, it is. That, that's just like me. I wear, I wear my beanies. I have my cigar. And my, look at you. Got a little cheeseburger in your hand. Can you see that cheeseburger? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's legendary. That's that's an iconic piece. Yeah, that's an iconic it piece. It it's iconic. I should Icon keep iconic. iconic. I should keep iconic. No, I no, I think my, my I mean kids, it's like if I if you call if you call Hank Aaron seven hundred and fifteen home run ball, yeah, you probably keep it. Well, I got Ocho's first Funko. I should probably keep this. I, I don't think why why would you why would you want to keep something why that not? is me? Because it's me. Okay. It's me. I know. It's me. I know, I know, I know I mean a lot to you. I know I'm special. I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm an interesting individual. Matter yeah. of fact. You know, technically, I might be the most interesting man in the world. I need to be part of that damn Dosakis commercial. You might be the most interesting man, but you don't have a YouTube plaque that says a million subs and you don't have a Funko. <laughs> so that makes me more interesting because I got both of these in my possession. <laughs> you know what? You don't need two plaques. That would make you a hoarder. You know, hoarder, you need to be part of that show. You know, they just hoard stuff for yeah, no reason. Yeah, I know the hoarder is. Okay, okay I'm, just, I'm just making a show. Just making a show. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm I'm gonna try to get that. Let me see. I will send that. I, I'll get that out to you. March. I'm looking at probably March twenty third, twenty never. Why? Because Amazon Why? Amazon got next day. You want me to? You want me to go to the Am the river? The no, Amazon nah, River not the Am nah, that's too far. That's too far. Oh. I want you to go to Amazon. They're all over the place. Matter of fact, Amazon, listen, they'll come to your house and pick up your package, wrap it for you, and they'll get it to me. I have it by Saturday. Amazon don't ship. Uh, you know, you got to order stuff from Amazon to get Amazon. Amazon is not like UPS or or, or the postal service. No, you good. They I deliver. Give you, they I, don't pick up. I, oh, they pick up. They pick no, up. they don't. See, you, know, you don't know Jeff Bezos. They pick like, up I know Amazon Jeff. package. No man, listen man. I'm 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 a one percenter. I have access to people them coming to pick up my stuff. I give you real account. We I, I have I have them come pick it up for me. Yeah, see, I make like one thing about Jeff. He makes things convenient for people. He makes things convenient, and that's what he's done. There oh, there are no. certain people that are part of Amazon where they come pick your stuff up for you. No, and Amazon be throwing my packages over the fence. Over the fence. Yep. Well, I got a big old sign at the gate that says, please do not leave packages here. What do you think Amazon, uh, UPS, yeah, what do you think they do? Tell me what you think they leave the packages at. After the big sign that says, please do not leave packages here. Right. So I have a okay, question. We'll throw, it over, we'll throw it over the fence. Well, if you have a fence and you don't want the packages left there, how are they supposed to get in the gate? It's not a gate. You just walk into the front door. You have a long driveway. You signed up for the job. Now I don't saw people park. I don't saw people drive Amazon. I don't saw people drive FedEx and UPS trucks. Get out their truck. Walk up to the driveway. They got to walk twenty steps at work. At, do, you, at, do, do you have a sign anywhere in the area that says "Beware of dog"? No, I got a sign that says uh, uh, "Do not ring the doorbell." So. And they still do it. If Hold I got on. signed, unless uh, the sign says, unless package needs to be signed for, please do not ring the doorbell. So what do you think they do? Ding dong, set the package down. I say, my man, you set the you set the package right up under the sign that says, don't ring the doorbell unless the package needs to be signed for. Oh, my bad, bro. What the? Uh, like you just, you got too many rules, huh? You got too oh, many Joe. rules. Just, just. Ocho, I don't want to get. I don't want to go out my front door, walk around to the side, and get the package. That's their job. Is that you, asking too much? Do you tip? Do you tip them when they leave? Yeah, don't eat egg salad and ride the bus, bro. <laughs> That's the only tip I got for you, Ocho. Who the hell? I... Ocho, it's a package. You make it seem like Ocho, they ain't taking like box crates and crates of water. It's normally it's normally a pair of shoes or it's it's normally an envelope or something. Listen, do you you know what what workers, Amazon, UPS, DHL, do you know what they have to go through throughout the day and deliver? UPS make packages? up to 170,000. Did you know that? UPS workers make up to 170k. I mean, you have to be there for a long time before you get to that type of 
that the type of revenue. Well, I had to be here a long time to get to get to where I got. Okay, so good. Okay, all right, you're right, you're right. So anybody that worked for Amazon, UPS, or FedEx, please don't ring Unc Goddamn Doorbell and take unless the package, unless the package needs, needs to, be to be signed, signed for. for. Okay, okay, they got and you. Stop throwing we, the package over the fence. Right now, we just made a service announcement. I guarantee you, it never happened again. I bet you, I'm gonna take a picture next time we do it. It's gonna happen tomorrow, probably. <laughs> Ocho, check this out. A mother says she doesn't want a 14 year old daughter to go to a Meg Thee Stallion concert because she believes it's not for kids. She tweeted, My teenager is disappointed with me because I won't let her go to the Meg Thee Stallion concert okay. when it comes here, lol. But I don't think it's a place for kids, which brings me to the point we had Bow Wow, B2K, and more. Who do teens today have for entertainment? You know what? That is a good one. That is a great one because. Who we have today for our entertainment is obviously Nick, the Nicki Minaj's, the Sexy Reds, the Lottos, the Glorillas, Meg Thee Stallion, the Cardi B's. And that is the era and the times that we're in right now. Music has evolved. The sound of music has evolved. This is what we're in right now. Now, would I, as a 14-year-old, I understand where, as a mother, I understand where she's coming from. But what yeah. you can't do, but what you can't do and what I, I don't want mom to do, don't shelter the child don't shelter the child you know what you man do? 14 year old no nah, you ain't finna go to that i ain't sheltering you i i would no, listen to what i'm gonna say though as okay. a mom okay you want to go see meg i'm gonna take you no i'm gonna take hell I'm gonna go, no I'm gonna go, no damn my hell no no okay okay well i listen i'm i was trying to find a, a, a happy medium and a solution as opposed to saying you know what well you ain't going to see no goddamn meg because then now what you cause you got to understand what you cause when you blatantly say no you can't go and see Meg then it it just it, it it brings a whole different side of curiosity having to sneak and do things not being able to go and you share take, things with mom you, you, I mean, you, it just it just it I'm opens up you a, a whole a whole another can of worms you taking your 14 year old daughter to hear the, the lyrics that Meg's singing you taking it, her to hear yeah you taking her to a concert to hear that me uh, nah, no nah. you're not no no you're not no no, you're listen, not. That, that's not my daughter, though. I'm talking about. I'm talking but about I'm her. Saying, I, that's what I'm. Ocho. Yeah. You had daughters. You yeah, taking yeah. your 14 year old daughters they, they to hear that? Nah, I don't, I you don't know what they, Meg's saying? Yeah, I, I, I don't think. What would she be saying? I, I, what she be singing? You know, you know the lyrics. I don't know the lyrics, but I know my 14 year old ain't going. That's a good question. Women, women in the chat that have kids. If you had a 14 year old, if you have someone older than a 14 year old, what would you do? Well, well, that's that's a great question. I, I think everybody parents differently. Uh, oh, that's a that's a good one. What do you think? If I you think said majority, no. I, I ugh, that's tough. Huh? I think the majority of the majority of the parents going to probably say no. Say no. I'm you sure think so? Gonna some, okay. Yeah. Um, right. I think the thing is, Ocho, what has transpired is that kids are in such a rush to get grown. Right. We've become a hyper sexualized society. Yeah. Uh, and 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 and. We got seven and eight, 10 year olds twerking. We've mm. got kids that know the lyrics to a Cardi B, to a Nicki Minaj, right, to a Meg right. Thee Stallion, to all these sexualized songs. Right. So, and and, so, and now we've deemed that that's okay. Mm. No, it's not okay. Yeah, it is not okay. But obviously, you know, what we are in, which is kind of bad, we're in a social media they area. Want the poll, Ash. We're, we are, we're, Get a fourteen-year-old be allowed to go to a Meg Thee Stallion concert. Yeah, we're we're in the social media era where everything is overexposed. <laughs> yeah, everything is overexposed. You know, some of the things when we were fourteen, we didn't have access to. Now the younger generation has access to, and they're learning more. And I think it's more so about what you're doing at home as a parent, where you don't have to worry about your child going to a concert because. The teaching and the tutelage that you take care of at home isn't going to affect your child. That's just that's just my two cents. That's just my two cents. Yeah, I mean, you like I said, you I, I just for me, that ain't that ain't that ain't gonna happen. Um, I don't I don't think her lyrics is appropriate for a fourteen year old. That's right. just me. So my child now, right. what somebody else does with their child? Right, 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 right. Hey, that's you. That's your child. Yeah. But, okay. Did you hear what you just said? Yeah. Her lyrics aren't appropriate for a 14 year old. So yeah. who do we have today? Back to the question. We had B2K, we had Bow Wow. Who do we have to gravitate towards for the younger right. generation? 
No, because that music doesn't sell. They, I mean, I'm trying to sell records. I'm trying to make money. Mm -hmm. So basically, we have nobody. So the the only outlet for the kids to listen to is that of the female rappers. Yeah, ninety percent of ninety percent in the chat says no. Yeah, lyrics not appropriate for a fourteen year old. Yeah, but but that's the society. Because yeah. we become a very sexualized, hyper-sexualized mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. You see the way the the young ladies are dressing now? Mm -hmm. To each their own. I'm yeah. not I'm not here. I'm not listen, I'm not here to criticize you for right. the way you dress. You dress like you dress how you want to dress. But right. I'm just saying mm -hmm. that's where we're heading. And you see the the dress and some of the things that they wear to church, whereas mm -hmm. you know, everything used to be below the knee. And if knee. you came with something too yep. tight, you're like, mm -hmm. I, I don't know who she coming up here trying to right. But they say, God say, come as you are. But yeah. not like that. Yeah. <laughs> so but, and that's that's just me. Like I said, Ocho, um, I want my kids to be, you know, I, I can't shelter them for everything. Right. But had my daughter come to me if she'd been 14, um, I was gonna say I would have said no. No, yeah. Okay. No. I I got you. I got you. I mean, it's it's that's a tough one, Uncle. That's that's a tough one because I've I've heard so many stories. Think about all the stories you've heard of parents that shelter their kids away from reality, away oh, from yeah, real yeah, yeah. life. That's why I said this is where parenting comes into play. This is where parenting comes into play, where you do what you're supposed to do inside the house and inside the household and do the best of your ability, like your grandma did with you. So mm -hmm. she did all she can do. So once you hit the real world, there's nothing else she can say. There's nothing else she can say or do because she taught you all she can. Right. Same thing as a parent. You teach your daughter, you teach your sons all you can. So when the opportunities, when you are old enough to go to a Meg or a Cardi B or right. a Nicki Minaj or a Gorilla concert, the words and the lyrics and the lifestyle that they're living don't affect you based on what you learn from home. I don't know yeah, if that but makes I, but, sense. But I think but for an 18, 19, 20-year-old, so that's one thing. But a 14-year-old, 14 14-year-old, what's that, a freshman in high school? I, I think that's a bit much. I, I, that's just me, Ocho. I think that's right, a bit right, much. Right, 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 right. Ocho, you have to delete one. Good health, six hundred million, or your teeth. Can I go first? Yeah, I'm gonna be a good health, six hundred million dollar head. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, girl, come on over here. Hey, <laughs> but, but I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm, I'm Man, with I you. I wish I might. Good health, six hundred million or teeth. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't need no tea. I listen. They my nickname. I'll gum be, them to death. My my I'll nickname gum. gonna be Gummy. That's right. <laughs> they 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 gonna be laughing. Look at old Gummy. That's fine. Yeah. That's oh, fine. That's you fine. Oh, Joe, oh, do you gotta tell you? Hey, Daddy, mark your territory. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got for you, baby. That's all I got for you. <laughs> you gonna leave? You gonna leave with a bunch of slob on your back? That's hey, a, they, hey, that must be sharp old lady. <laughs> hey, you, that, that, you have your dress on and there's a slobber mark on the shoulder. Uh huh. That's uncle old lady. Yeah, I like it. Man, please. Yeah. I'm, I, I'd be the hickey master. I would. Yeah. Be oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'd be the yeah. hickey master. I don't know who in the hell would turn down 600 million in good health to have, uh, to have some teeth. Listen, it, 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 there are some people, there are some people. That will be weird and choose their teeth over good health and six hundred million. Man, that just, one. just, just for the sake of just being different from just everybody. Just being a contrarian, else. huh? Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. They, they ain't me. <laughs> Ocho, check this out. Now it's time for our next segment. It's called a daily dum dum. Who messed up now? Uh, a gambling platform took a user's winnings over child support. A man in Louisiana tweeted, Lord Jesus, they got me. With a <laughs> screenshot of the email saying, you had an open child support debt. We had debited 1578 from your winning to fulfill the open balance. Mm. Ocho, do you, do they know? Like, oh, they I, shouldn't say this, they, I shouldn't say this, Ocho, because I've to, done this they for friends. Like they win, they win uh cash three, they win yeah. cash four. Mm -hmm. You know, they win 10, 15, 20, 30 thousand dollars. Yeah. 
they got outstanding debt. Hey, Sharp, do your boy a solid. Mm -hmm. What I do, <laughs> I go up there and do it and go to the Georgia lottery, mm -hmm. give my ID, I'm clean. They get the money. Right. You know, if you got an outstanding debt, yeah, yeah. And you go to the Georgia lottery or the Louisiana lottery or whatever lottery, oh, whatever get... outstanding debt you got, they're going to get they bread. They're getting that every last penny. Every yes. last penny. But in, in, in the other hand, you, you got you to take care of your angels, man. You got you got to take care of your angels. There, there's no reason. Well, there are reasons because I don't know Buddy's circumstance. I don't I don't know Buddy's situation. But if, if, you, if you're in the rears and child support where they have to take and garnish your wages from a winnings, uh, you you, you got to sit down and talk talk with mama man. You you got to make right because life ain't gonna never be life ain't gonna never be in order. You ain't finna get blessed the way you should be getting blessed unless you're taking care of them little ones. Yeah, and the it just was, it, 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 hopefully hopefully he was gonna take the winnings and probably play out that debt, but he wasn't gonna do right on. He wasn't gonna do because he <laughs> wouldn't be upset. He wouldn't be upset about them garnishing them goddamn wages if he was gonna do right with the money. And the thing is, but what, what garnish would understand. That puts your credit. You don't want them to garnish your money because that's a credit. Yeah. Now you it's gonna lower your credit score. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hell, if you ain't paying, if you if you ain't paying your goddamn child support, then your credit score probably shot any goddamn weight. That's the last thing that that's the last thing that somebody last tried to dodge yeah. child support. They ain't give a damn about no credit. Nah. Said, oh man. Hey, listen, I, I I I feel I feel for buddy in a sense, but on the other side of the spectrum. You got to do right by them kids, boy. Yeah, you I got don't, to. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, and I don't you make them. That. You got, you got, you got to take care of them kids, boy. Hold on, the, uh, hold on. Check this out. As it turns out, child support is mentioned in the gambling platform's policy in Louisiana. A state law was passed that resulted in winnings exceeding twelve hundred dollars be susceptible to child support debt collection. Mm. So he won twenty five hundred, right? Oh, how much he win, Ash? It didn't say, but it said they took fifty. They took fifteen seventy eight out. So okay. clearly, he he made more than the twelve hundred that was susceptible to the uh, child support garnishment. Okay. okay, but shoot, there, there it is, there it is. Now, 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 now he back. He back even. Now he just obviously maybe the payments might not be that much. Now he can stay on top of them. I hope, but. Man, oh, uh, it's man. hard, Ocho, because if you fall behind, now that if you're a barber, they take your license, yeah. they put you in jail. So how the hell you think I'm going to make the money if you take my license, which I make my money with, right. or you put me in jail? So how the hell I'm supposed to make money to pay child now, support now when listen, you put me in jail? When, when, when you think about it now, you have to understand how long it takes to even get to that point. It takes it, take, it takes a while to even get to that point. So for one, you need to have that conversation with the missus, even if y'all don't get along. Listen, mama. Man, let, man yeah. sometimes they put your A. See, a lot of times you pay cash, and everybody, everybody don't have a situation where they, you know, you get direct deposit or there's right. a there's a a paper trail. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, guys, hey, they ain't got no bank account. They give you cash. Somebody yeah. get mad at you. Well, he ain't paid me child support. They go down mm -hmm. there and put your ass on the child support office. They put that paper on you. Now you've been paying three, four hundred dollars a month. You pay what you can. Right. They put that paper on your ass. Now they're gonna go back and knock five from you. Yeah. Listen. But that shit, they, that, 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 shit, that shit ain't no joke. I told you, and I've said it before, you know, when we've been on the show, man, you got to take care of them kids, man. And you got to make the relationship with those you have kids from. You got to make it right because they, they can make life a living but, hell, boy. But oh, that's they, can a, make, but, they can make life a living hell, man. But Ocho, that has to be a two-way street. You yes, have sir. to understand that I've moved on. You have to, the one party has to accept that mm -hmm. the other party is moving on. I understand that a child was created, but oh, you with that, and you ain't with me, oh, you mm -hmm. ain't doing this for you. Come on now. So if there's an understanding, right? But how many people are understanding? If we were understanding, we wouldn't have some of the situations that we have. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. But listen. I didn't do things the traditional way. No. If you, if you followed, if you followed me, if you followed me throughout the years, ain't never had no issues. Yeah. Because I take care of my business. It's simple. Yeah. It ain't rocket science. 
because everybody, everybody in that circle, everybody in that you, we work as one, one big ass unit mm -hmm. with one, one end goal at the end of the day, the child, the betterment of the child. Because Ocho, because here's the thing, she's going to say, Mr. that was a gift. See, cash can, can be considered as a gift, not a child support, because that's why you need, that's why you need that paper trail. Yeah. And so. You got, see, you got people going after you for your money, man. I, God, I thank you. Because what's, what's one way, not all, but I'm saying a lot of times women feel, what's the way I can hurt you, Ocho? The pockets. Yeah, your pockets, yeah. Yeah. I dig in the pockets, now I get your attention. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean, if somebody doesn't want to be with you, going in his pocket is not going to want to make you it's going to want to make him come back yeah you're right <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, but mo most of the time honestly all it is when you see a person true colors is when they're angry when you're not together sure. anymore when the situation is no longer convenient and beneficial for them then that lets you know who you was really dealing with if you got to go that route if she mm -hmm. has to go that route you already know what it is drunk kids and angry people will mm. generally tell you the truth mm. you want to know how somebody feel about you let them get drunk because the drunk mouth will speak sober mind thoughts <laughs> and now I got something to blame it on Ocho I was hey, that, drunk hey, that, that was a bar that was a bar, was a bar <laughs> right there that was a bar angry when somebody get angry They'll start telling, oh, that's why you did such and such. That's why you robbed that place. You remember when you shot, when you shot a, 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 a Ray Ray? Oh, 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 oh. See? Every time. Every time. Hey, the tongue, the tongue is a powerful thing. The tongue is a very powerful thing. That's why I, I, I try to find a way to diffuse my energy when I'm about to get angry and just think happy thoughts. Because I, I hate saying the wrong thing. I hate, I, say, I, hate, I hate saying the wrong thing. I do too, Ocho. That's why I'm very, very careful. And I choose the people very carefully who I mm -hmm. be around mm -hmm. because there are two things that you can never get back. Words spoken and deeds done. And 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 people are quick to tell you mm -hmm. how you should handle a situation. Well, how long? Don't tell somebody how long to grieve. Right. Just because you would have grieved a day or so and moved right. on. We all agree You're different. not them. People are quick to tell you, well, this is what you should do, but you're not the person that's been in that situation. Mm -hmm. So I've had to temper myself like, it's easy for you to say, never say unless you've been in a situation. Yeah, It's hard to say what you will or won't what do. Won't well, do I wouldn't that. do that. Have you ever been put in that situation? Nope. I wouldn't do this. If food need to be put on the table and kids need to eat, and kids need clothes. What wouldn't you do? That's your job is to protect. So what? So don't say what you wouldn't do. Right. Because you don't know what you will do until you're in a situation. And then you can say, okay. Because I'm sure there's a lot of times people have done things that they're not proud of. But sometimes circumstances are beyond your control. Yeah. Check mm -hmm. this out, Ocho. A COVID era intimacy ban. In oh. oh, okay. And now it's time for Nightcap After Dark, which is a fan favorite. So here it is, Ocho. Yo, here we go. <laughs> the COVID area era intimacy ban instituted during the Tokyo Olympics in 2021 is officially lifted. So now organizers will be providing 300,000 condoms for the 2024 athletes in Paris. Only 175 of them going to be used. If, not only is it the Summer Olympics, it's also right. the Raw Dog Olympics. Yeah. All of you don't have no show. Yeah. Hey, but listen, when you think about the Olympics, one of the most important things that you need is fresh legs. Fresh legs. So do you think Anyone is gonna really be having sex, knowing yeah. what it does, what it does to the legs after you get spaghetti legs. Do you really want to go out there competing? Something else gonna be spaghetti too. <laughs> what I'm doing, I ain't gonna only thing that's gonna be spaghetti legs. 
noodle legs or whatever you say. I got something else going to be spaghetti. <laughs> I don't know what you talk. talking. Ocho, I want you to picture this. You're going to have probably 200 countries, some of the most athletic, some of the most finest men and women from the world, around the world. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be there mm -hmm. at your disposal. Yeah. You may not see them again. You may or may not ever see them again in life. Mm. Think about what it was, was like for you in college. Right. But the circumstances and what's on the line is much, much more different. And you know how, think about this. Think about all the trials, the individuals. I'm just going to speak for the US, USA team. Think about all they've been through, all the trials they've been through and competing against each other just to be chosen to represent us. And do yeah. you really think, um, to me, the discipline that they have, the regimen that they have, I really don't think anyone's going to jeopardize that by going out there and having sex, knowing what it can do and, and knowing what it can do and harm your performance. I know what it can do, too. <laughs> I know what it can do, too. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't but know. I'm, I'm, I don't I'm know. You been, have you seen the Jamaican women? You see how they built? Have yeah. you seen the Belgians? Yeah. Have you seen the Swiss? I mean, the, the Swiss Listen, team. All, all of Australia. them. Australia. All of them. All of them. Every gorgeous. But listen, huh? you got to understand. Temporary satisfaction or bringing home gold. Two minutes or bringing home gold. I'm going to win something. I might, be the, I might win something I don't get no gold medal for, but I'm going <laughs> to win something. You best believe that. Man, I don't know. Man, you ain't see them disc throwers? Them yeah. shot putters, hey, uh, them, uh, 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 the hammer, because uh, you don't, oh, Joe, they 180. Yeah. They 220. 20. I hey. had a plenty. <laughs> they, listen, um, they fine, but I, I think, but track is a different, listen, it's a different type of discipline. We had discipline when we were playing, but their discipline and represent us as a whole is completely different. Hold you on. Get, you, get one, you get one shot. You get one Hold shot. On. Let me ask you a question, Ocho. Yeah. How close is it to my event? Oh, if oh, it's I a week away, I, I'm gonna shake I the cover. You, I see where you're going. I'm now. gonna shake the cover. If it's a week I, away, I see, I'm gonna shake. Now the night before, two nights before. Hey. Okay. Not. Now that's okay. Because okay. you got time. You got. You got time to recover. Man, you, you think got, I'm gonna be on there for a whole two whole weeks, and I got oh. a chance to shake the covers, and right. you think I ain't gonna? Right. Okay. I see you going with it. I see you going with it. Okay. Man. Okay. That 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 make that makes a little bit more that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah. Damn. Man, what you think, Ocho? I mean, that, think about it, Ocho. Some yeah, of the I'm, women. I'm thinking about it now. I'm thinking about it now. Yeah, I'm what thinking, I'm talking well, about you, now. You got, nah, okay. But also, you have to think about a very large percentage of these individuals are already taken. They're already they married, boyfriends, girlfriends that are over there traveling. How many times you don't see women go on vacation? You saw Stella. <laughs> Well, how yeah, many times women no, go? How many gotta, times you see women go? Hold on. So you try to tell me that sometimes when women go to get go to Vegas and they ain't got their man or they go on vacation with their girl, yeah, and they say they see Jody out there, yeah, with hey, a, you know with that baby on, leg. On. What they be doing? Huh? What what what, what they what be they, doing? When they got when they go with their girl and they see that guy out there that's abbed up. Right, right, got right. Got that right. baby on. Got that baby on full across his shoulder. Oh. Oh, so you saying on them girl trips they don't be really they don't, they don't really be girl trips that's like cold huh hey no 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 they might start off at that right they right might not, right they might go with not how long they might go with intentions right to be with their girls uh-huh come on now okay okay now yeah I, I like that I yeah you 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 put me up on game a little bit because this this one baby oh she sleep yeah, she got a girl trip coming up. Now I'm glad you said that because I'm that I'm gonna cancel that. Hey, guess what? I got a huh. boy trip and we had the same place. Baby, what you doing here? You came here too? Me and the boys. Yeah. I didn't even know you was going to Jamaica. <laughs> you damn. What a coincidence. Hey. <laughs> Gotta be a good we're, one to pull that. We had <laughs> the same, we had the same place. Man, That'd please. Be, That'd be a good Man, one. Man, come pull on, Ocho. I mean, look, I'm not saying look. Guys, I'm not in, in chat. I'm not saying this happens every time, but you would be foolish, yeah, to think. Hey. I mean, uh, all them, all listen. I don't been looking. I I was at Freak Nick. Hard, hey, heavy. 
I was I was at Free Knee too. I already know. I, oh, you ain't got I to was, tell me. I was I, at Daytona, Black College, Black College Spring Break. I was there. I was at Orange Crush in Savannah. I was there. Listen. You I'm got serious. somebody? Hey. <laughs> Not this hey. weekend. Hey. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm looking for. You the, know. you the person I've been looking for. Yeah. I know, I know about them. I know about them days. I know about them days. I'm, yeah, listen, for I'm, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here playing around. I, I know about them trips. I know about I know about them trips. They, I, they, they, there was a many of day I lived a life two times. So I already know. Oh, Joe. That's what I did. When you said, oh, you got to live. I yeah. told you. My sister and my grandma done said, good times don't owe you nothing, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If God called me home tonight, I don't, he don't know me nothing. He don't know me nothing. Right. I done, I done made more money than I ever thought I could. I supported my family. Hey, I got been had the nicest cars. I've been to every place that I wanted to go. He don't know me nothing. Mm. Nothing, not a thing. So don't thank O'Shea because he ain't doing nothing now. He done missed out. Cause O'Shea was hell when he was well. Yeah. Well, I listen. Hey. Well, I got some stories, boy, but I ain't, you know, I don't wanna I ain't trying to ruffle no feathers. <laughs> I don't wanna take this take this I, out, Ocho. Our next topic has been trending on the internet. Uh-oh. Is it okay for your man to go to a strip club? Ladies, Jermaine oh. Dupree re- recently appeared on the Breakfast Club where he doubled down on his past statement that girls has to understand him going to the strip club. Some women are okay, are okay with their man going to the strip club, whether it be sporadic, bachelor party, or even they go regular. But some women's strip clubs are a no-go. Ocho, what's Jeez. your stance on this? Well, listen, I, I'm, uh, I don't even gamble, for one. You, you, you know how I am. So I, have, I, I, I love dancers. I love strippers. I love exotic women that put on performances at the highest level. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with it. Just my only problem is my black ass don't go no goddamn where. Now I'm from Miami. I'm from Miami. Back in the day, I've been the King of Diamonds with Mm -hmm. one of the greatest dancers of all time. And she should be known in all 50 states. I had the opportunity to watch Tip Drill. Tip Drill Mm -hmm. to me, have you ever seen Beyonce perform? Yes. Tip drill is basically Beyonce on stage. I've never seen nothing like that. Ever. Never seen anybody perform like that. If I walked in there with $200, she got my whole $200 based on her performance and the experience that he that she created when you came in town to watch her. That was it. And this is back in, I'm talking about way back. It's been about 20 years. I ain't been to the strip club. Nah, I done been in Miami all my life. I keep hearing about motherfucking booby trap. Booby trap mm-hmm. this, booby trap that, booby trap, booby trap. Unc, I can't stay up late enough just to experience what this booby trap life is all about. Mm-hmm. Real. Now, you know, if you want to go to the strip club, it's okay. Well, damn, if you wake me up, then I go. I'm asleep. The only right. time I'm up late is at night, Sunday, Monday, and Thursday when I got to do the show with you. I cannot fight. I can't, I can't fight and keep myself up to experience what it's like to go to the strip club. And I've been here all my goddamn life. Yeah. I mean, obviously being in Atlanta, so you know Magic City. And, oh, yeah. And Body Tap and, yeah. and Blue Flame and Strokers mm-hmm. and all those. Allure, Oasis. I mean, I, mean I, I haven't been to the strip club in 17 years. 2007 was the last time I went. Mm-hmm. Normally, for me, like, Young because you know, coming from Georgia, you heard hearing about strip clubs, yeah, you know, tucking a buck. I wanted to see it for myself, and when I saw it, it's addictive. Mm. You see them, you see the women. I'm talking about some of them, them women. Hey, uh, hey, as soon as you walk in, you see the right one, you just want to pull it aside and whisper in the ear, Why are you in here doing this? You ain't got to do this, you ain't got to do this no more, not at all, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, hey, hey, no, 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 no. I say, I know everybody. I said, I know guys that come in here and sold you a dream. Yeah. But hey, I don't know about no no night on the white horse. Mm-hmm. But I do got a Range Rover out there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Ocho? I ain't got no horse. 
but I got a Range Rover. Girl, come on. I mean, hey. I mean, what, what you, what, I mean, what you, what you doing in here? What I said, uh, what do you hope to accomplish? Uh, well, you know, I'm so, just playing for school. I said, girl, playing for school. Enough. Yeah, yeah. Hey, don't worry about it. Your two issues taken care of. Yeah, I'm gonna start a business. You really? What kind of business? Because I know people that maybe can help you get started in that business. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, that's not my thing. That's not, you know, strip clubs are not my thing. Yeah. That 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 ain't that ain't not now. They were once upon a time. And right. but Ocho, it wasn't no thing. I'm going every week. Um, if the guys came to town, oh, we go hit. I'm gonna hit it. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna get them money. Y'all do y'all thing, have a good time. They ah. they had they they blue collar guys, they they doing their thing. Hey, right. Give them some money. Hey, give them five hundred dollars. Hey, make hey. Don't find one now. Hey, spread yourself around now. Hey, don't let one person get all your bread now. Mm -hmm. But so let me get this right. Jermaine Dupree. Mm -hmm. So it said it should be a women got to be able to understand that some of the men be at bachelor party going to the strip club. Well, you know what? I think women already know. You understand the type of individual that you're dealing with before you even deal with them. So you already know what comes with the territory. If you meet someone out in the club. Mm -hmm. Chances are they're going to always be going going to the club if you're dating them. Yeah. If you song that song, if, Ocho? If, if you're dating somebody in Atlanta, especially a guy, I'm assuming you already know, based on the type of individual you like, he's going to be in the club. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's common sense. Who that who sung that song? Was that T Pain? I'm in love with a stripper. I'm in love. That was well, I think it was T Pain, huh? Raise your hand, you be in love with a stripper. Hey, give me some hands in here. You know what I'm saying? Anybody got hands? <laughs> no. See, see the thing is, uh, oh, your hair is the thing. Then I got a people are all like, man, I ain't no bro. I already know what you did. You know that movie? There was a movie. There was a a, 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 a horror movie came out. I know what you did last summer. Oh yeah, with Brand Brandy was in that. Yeah, I remember. I, I, I know what you did. I know what you did in your past. Yeah. So all y'all talk about nah, nah, but you you lie, right? You nick, you lie. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Them a fine as frog hair. Fine oh, as frog oh. hair. Why in the hell are you in here? Why? Yeah. Why? I, I, I don't, I don't understand. Just from the naked eye, you see some of the individuals that are doing it just drop dead, just. Perfection. Girl, if Perfection. you cook, I'll marry you tonight. <laughs> hey, if you can cook, I'll marry you tonight. Perfection. Oh man. Listen, I'm and I'm 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 one that supports. I'm I support the naked hustle as as they call it. I I support it the best way I can. I might not be in there, but I'm goddamn baby, I'm there in spirit. I'm, yeah. I'm there in spirit. I mean, oh. I think it was like the eighties. That song Body Talk. Who sang that? I think it was the deal. I think the deal. D E L L E. I think the deal sung that song. Body Talk. Talk. Deal. Yeah. This is that song. Hey. Your body sure looks good to me. The way you work that body. Oh, yeah, let's go, Ocho. Now we gotta go. We gotta move on. We gotta move on. We gotta told you too much. I done told you too much. I told you too much. <laughs> told you too much. Told you too much. The deal. I gotta hear that. Every everything I say, I'm saying, may or may not be true. Mm. The world may never know. Mm. I'm gonna deny it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ocho. The chat has been looking for this, and yeah. I know you want a level of redemption. Now it's time for the favorite segment on Nightcap, Spello Cinco. Hey! Chat, let's go, chat. I'm not getting nothing wrong tonight, chat. You ain't getting nothing wrong. Us. Okay, chat, Ocho, is us. Ocho is going to redeem himself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean, redeem? What, what do you mean? I mean, listen. I'm, Ocho, I'm, after you spell I'm, that colonel, we'll see you. Listen, you got to redeem I have listen, I have no military background. So the fact that I didn't know how to spell colonel is okay with me. 
And for the you, people in the chat, the, the people in the chat, some people know how to spell it. You know, probably have a you know a history or a background in the military. I don't. So how it's spelled and how it sounds are two completely different things. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You know what? You know what I like about this this spelling part. What you like? Okay. Right. So many people in the world are so like caught up in just being perfect and knowing every fucking thing. Okay. I like this because it's an opportunity uh, for me to be uh, vulnerable and show goddamn humility. You know what? Yeah. I don't know every motherfucking thing. And sometimes there's some words that are going to trip me up. And I like the fact that we do this. Okay. That's, that's why I like it. So, Ocho, this is an easy one. Easy one. The first word of, the first word of tonight is nuisance. All right, I know I'm not nuisance. tripping. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I remember. Stay with me. Because that N U N U I S A N C E. N U I N U I N U I S A N C E. N U I New 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 New. And I know the I is silent because I remember that when I, I had to do a paper on it. I had to do a paper. Yes, nuisance. You already told us that you couldn't get in. You couldn't get in school. You couldn't get in prison with your grades. So you doing a paper? That no, that paper was effed up. No, 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 no. But I was a brilliant mind in school, Unc. I had a four point oh. You I had a four point oh when I actually went to class. Nuisance. That's the problem. Nuisance. You spelled it correctly. N u i s a n c. Okay. These. Let's go. Now this is this is uh it could get tricky. Oh wait, 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 wait. Does it have I have a question before you even yeah. give me the word? Does it have a, a letter in there that is silent that is going to trip me up? Nah, it's not gonna trip you up. Okay. Millennium. What? Millennium. These millennium kids be off the chain, Ocho. Shit. M I L. I know that part. Yeah. Malia. Malia. It gotta be E next. Mm -mm. It... M I L L. No. Okay. No, one L, one L, one L. Okay. No. M L Malia. Malia. Okay. M I double L. Mm -hmm. E. Obviously. N I A L S. M I double L E N I A L S. Millennial. No. Yes, that is right. Millennium. Millennium. Oh, millennium. I thought, well, why you said millennials? I said. You said millennials. Oh, I said okay, these okay. millennium kids. I heard, you say, I, I heard you say millennials, so it, it threw me off. Okay. Millennium. M I. Oh, it's still double L anyway. Mm -hmm. E N N I U U M. No, one U, one U, only one U, only one U. We gonna move on. M no, I got it right. That was right. You, right. you did get it right. But anyway, but we. we no, I did. I, I'm gonna I'm give you a C plus for trying. This was an easy one, Ocho. This was a really easy one. Rhinoceros. Come on, man. You serious? Yeah. Okay. R H I N O. Mm hmm. Ceres. Rhinoceros. I will see you. I, I just say, I'm in the chat. We see you looking at the number. We'll see you looking at it, but go ahead. I, I just said rhinoceros. I said no. R R H I N O C E. R everybody oh. in the chat say no. Wait, okay. wait. Huh. I just want you to know that like me in the chat, we can see you. See me what? So. Rhino. Hold on. No, Soros. I'm 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 looking at the chat. No, I'm saying I'm I'm saying we can see you looking at your screen. But no, go ahead, go ahead. Go I ahead. know because I'm looking at the chat. I'm reading what people say. No, we don't need we don't need to we don't need you to look at the chat. We need you to close your eyes because the chat might be putting it up there. 
Oh, 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 oh. Nah, nah, nah. They laughing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rhinoceros. No, we... You ready? Yes. R H I N O C E R O U S. No. What? Rhinoceros. R H I N O C E R O S. That's what I that's what I just said. No, you said a U. The U is silent. No, it's not. It's in there. <laughs> just because something is silent, that don't mean you can leave it out. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay, Damn. because here's the thing. The chat says we find it hard to believe that you couldn't spell colonel and you spell nuisance and millennium. But uh, we're going to go, this is an easy oh, wait, 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 but hold on. My kids are always a nuisance, so I know how to spell it. And millennial is pretty easy because everybody uses a goddamn word. They overuse it on goddamn Twitter all the damn, all the damn time. Uh, well, how about this here? Orangutan. Orangutan. It's orangutan. It's not. It's okay. But go ahead. Orangutan. Go ahead. Spell it. Spell it like you. Uh, spell it like you, it sounds. Orangutan. Orangutan. The first letter is O, right? You the spelling. Orang. O r e g n. A ring. Oh, wait. A ring. O R. Maybe is it O R E or O R A? Ocho, you spelling. You can't come to the teacher and ask how you spell this word. Hold on. Orangutan. Because my this, this girl I used to date, she used to say I look like an orangutan when it, when it was in high school. Okay. I ain't going to disagree with her, but go okay. ahead. I bet the spelling is weird as hell. And okay. In the chat, they better not be making fun of me because I know damn well y'all can't spell this shit either. <laughs> Orangutan. O R O R E N Orang G T A N G Orangutan. See, that's why I told you it's not an orangutan. It's an orangutan. So ain't no G? Yeah, it is. That's what I just said. I said it. I put the G in it. O R A N G U T A N. That's what I said. Unc, <laughs> you confusing me, man. I'm spelling the words right. And you telling me I'm wrong. Okay, how about this here? This is a e. This is this is like. Hey, I only got one wrong. I only got one wrong tonight. <laughs> well, well, hopefully you get this last one right. I'm gonna get it this right. Hold one. on, let me stand up. Let me stand up. Let me stand up. Paraphernalia. What? The cops pulled him over and he had drug paraphernalia. Para. Okay. Paraphernalia. All right, here we go. Chat. Paraphernalia. Paraphernalia. So much for you standing wait. up. Hold on, huh? Go ahead. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Derek was pulled over and the cops arrested him for having drug paraphernalia. Paraphernalia. P E R I. Para. Para. Oh, P A R A. Mm -hmm. Para. P H E. Mm -hmm. N I L I A. Nope. Oh. <laughs> was I close? I Was that at least close? Well. LA is close to San Diego, but you ain't trying to walk there. <laughs> hey, hold on. What 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 how was I off by a lot? Hold on. P A R mm -hmm. P H E N Nelia. E L I. E L I A. Vanelia. No. Nelia. Paraphernalia. No. 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 Damn it. P A R yeah. A P H E R N A L I A. God damn it, man. <laughs> Give me one more. Give me one more. This is for all the marbles. This is for all the marbles. Matter of fact, if I don't get this one right, I'm not eating McDonald's the rest of the, the never mind. Hold on. The rest the of the rest, night, exactly. The rest of the month. Say some bullshit. The rest oh, of the month. <laughs> the rest of the month. No McDonald's. No. Matter of fact, hold on. 
if I get this wrong, no sex for me until a until April. I'm ready. Uh how about this? How uh I'm ready, I'm ready. Rail and Ocho had a secret rendezvous. The word Ooh. is rendezvous. Rendezvous. R E N D E V O U S. V O U S. Ah! <laughs> no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Rendezvous. Stay with me, babe. Stay with me now. R E N D E V O U S. That's rendezvous. No, no, no. R E R E N D E Z B O U S. The, the Z, Z is silent. That don't mean you can't put it in. You got to spell it in there, though. Well, no, but you got to understand. I'm, I do understand. I'm, the, I'm I'm part of the English language. I'm from America. Oh uh, yeah, I'm from America. That's. that's the the that's a, a Greek word, so I don't I didn't learn it like that. I learned it without the Z. No, you did. <laughs> I did. You can learn it however you want to, but you got to spell it. <laughs> yeah, but there are two different spellings to the word. If you look in the dictionary, nah. if you look in the if you look if you look in the Webster's dictionary, there are two spellings of rendezvous, and I spelled it the right way, the way we were taught here at school. I went to Miami Beach Senior High, mm. and they taught I me rendezvous. I know y'all passed out a lot of certificates at that school then. <laughs> <laughs> if they spell it rendezvous without the Z. Listen, hold on. Y'all got on, participation uh, awards. Thank hey, you listen. for attending school for 12 years. <laughs> but listen, I spelled it right. I just left the Z out now. Why you spelled it right? I, I could, I mean, because like, can huh? I get some credit? Yes. Yes. Are we looked it up. Uh, you know right. who Miriam Webster is? Oh yeah, I used I used to date her daughter Sammy. Yeah. I, and, I, and, I mean, I used to date her daughter Tammy. Tammy Webster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's the dictionary, and she says spelled with the Z. Well, I don't, y'all need y'all got the outdated version. We do need to update y'all. Miriam Webster, or we did Thorndike Barnhart. Yeah, I think. Yeah, listen, see that y'all got the old. You got like the dictionary. Y'all got is like the Old Testament. You got to get the New Testament. Okay. Well, hey, you know what, Ocho? This is what we're going to do. It's your time to get revenge. It's oh, time yeah. now for, to dunk on Unk. Okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dunk on Unk. I got to get out. I got to get out the chat. I got to get out. The, I got to get out the chat. Hey, telling people. Hey, hey Rel, you safe. Huh? No sex for till April. Oh, she sleep. She out of there. <laughs> All right. Chad, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Dunk on, on trivia. Question number one. In honor of the Oregon Ducks, who pulled off the upset against South Carolina today in the NCAA tournament, mm -hmm. can you name the two Oregon quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame? Ah, ha, ha. Yeah. Can you Ooh. name the two Oregon quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame? Dan Fouts is one. Yeah, I, I knew that. But, yeah, okay. You won't guess the second one, though. My damn sure won't. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. John Brody, I don't know. Wrong. No. The second quarterback is Norm Van, Van Brocklin. No, Norm hell, Van Brocklin. We got him. We got him on one. <laughs> we got him, chat. Here we go. Number two. Emmitt Smith is an all-time leader in playoff rushing yards with 1586. Who was second all-time? With one thousand five hundred and sixty-six sixty-six yards, and playoff rushing yards, right? Playoff all-time leader in playoff rushing yards. Yes, he's second all-time behind Emmitt Smith. Mm -hmm. You have to think this 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 player or this team in general had to go to the goddamn playoffs a lot. Yeah, I know. Chat, I think we got him again, chat. Chat, he gonna be 0 for 2. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm gonna say... 
Franco Harris. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. You did it again. Somebody got a goddamn. Hey, who the put him in there? Ash, somebody got a goddamn sign in that motherfucker, man. Come uh, on, man. Ocho, hey. Ocho, think about it, Ocho. Think about the Steelers. They went to the playoffs damn near every year in the 70s. Nah, Franco nah. was Super Bowl MVP. Yeah, no. Nah. Be- hey, chat. Chat, he cheating, chat. <laughs> Hey, we got it. We got an asterisk behind that one, man. That's like Ow! that's like that's like that's like the Patriots using the goddamn de- uh, deflated ball. That that's that that was a little funny right there. All right, we gonna give that one, but we got an asterisk behind okay. that one. Okay. All right, number three, the 2004 NFL Draft featured four quarterbacks selected in the first round: Eli Manning, Philip Rivers, Ben Roethlisberger, were three of them. Who was the fourth? Oh, you definitely ain't getting this one. Ooh, we. 2004 draft featured four quarterbacks selected in the first round. Eli Manning, Phillip Rivers, Ben Roethlisberger. Who was the fourth? You definitely ain't getting this one. Nah, hell no. Nah. What school did he come from? Damn. I don't, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Matter of fact, matter of fact, hold on. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right. I'm gonna tell you right now because his. I used to. Never mind. I ain't gonna say nothing. He went to. Tulane. West Virginia, but he came out earlier. Yeah, he went to Tulane and University of California. I have yep. no idea. J.P. Losman. Yep, yeah. J.P. Losman. Oh yeah, I used to train with him. I used to train with him um, back back in the day when I was at Santa Monica College. Um, I think his his uncle. Uncle worked in the in the equipment room. Angelo, Angelo. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. On to the next one. So you've only got one right so far, right? Yep. Yeah, number. yeah. Number four. Which receiver led the league in yards per catch in twenty twenty three? Yeah, you ain't gonna get this one either. Uh Brandon Ayuk. Who? I would say Brandon Ayuk. Wrong again. <laughs> Who was it? Hey, listen. He led the league in yards per catch, and his name is George Joy. motherfucking Pickens with 18.1 yards per catch. What did Ayuk average? Oh, I'm not 70? sure. Oh. Let's Come go. on, I'm going to get this last listen. one. I'm going to get this last one here. Uh, you, well, you're doing horrible tonight, boy. Yeah, I'm one for three. I'm going to get this one, though. So, I'm honestly, I did better in my spelling tonight than you nah, doing you on didn't. this dunk. But what? okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to get it. Okay, here we go. I see you looking over to the left. Don't don't look back there. I ain't looking. Put, no put your hands up. Put your hands up. Let me let me see. Make sure you ain't typing nothing. Chat, we got him, chat. We got him on the ropes. Two teams have had the number one overall pick seven times. That's bad. Which is the most? The Indianapolis Colts are one of them. Which NFC team is the other? Damn, seven times? Shit. That was- Y'all had a bunch too. So don't why I don't know why you talking. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Wilkinson, Carson Palmer, Joe Burrow, Akili Johnna Smith, Carter. Akili Smith. Akili. No, Akili was third. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But you, they've had the number one overall draft pick. Right? Yep. Two teams have had the number one overall draft pick seven times, which is the Ooh. most. The Indianapolis Colts are one of them. Who's the the NFC team is the other. Damn, seven? That's a lot. Mm-hmm. So, who's been terrible for a long period of time? <laughs> Let's see. They, uh, Carolina had been in the league long enough. See, see, 
Bartkowski was one. Buddy Kurt, uh, 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 Tommy Nobus. Falcons had Andre Bruce. I'm, don't be don't be looking around now. Don't be looking around. Somebody somebody oh, in there trying to help goodness. you now. Mm-mm-mm. Now see, and every time you put your head down like that and scratch your head, you I got always my eyes up, closed though. You always come up with the right answer for some reason. Chat, chat, make sure y'all y'all watch him now. Watch him close, chat. But I, hold on. I, I mean, I. Seven, damn. Chat, make sure y'all uh, watch, watch watch the glare. Chat, that. watch the glare and glasses. What's it called? Number one. Uh, mm, I don't know. Detroit. Wrong. <laughs> Rams. The Los the Angeles Rams. Chat, we stumped them tonight. Yeah, we stumped them tonight. Let's go. I, that, I was like, I want to, because I, I do like Jack Youngblood. I was like, well, damn. Yeah. Sam Bradford. But they so got must have go way back. Listen, I, I spelled five. I I had five words. I spelled three of them right. You only got one of five left. One, You got one of five right. So technically, I won the game tonight. You won tonight. You won. Finally. I won tonight. Our last segment of the day is Q and Hey, told y'all like a spell. I told y'all, man. Don't play <laughs> with me. Najee Curry said, "Super fan, my wife brought me a bottle of Laportier. So happy right now, bro! Thank you so much. Thank you and your wife for the support. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, and jump back in the chat once you try to let me know what you think." Caleb Dennis, Ocho got no business putting sex and McDonald's on the line when his brain is deep fried from spelling them words. <laughs> no sex for the rest of the for the rest of the month, Ocho. Wait a minute. What's what's the date today? The day is the twenty first. And how many days in in the month of March? Thirty one. Well, that ain't bad because it's, it's the end of the month. I'm on my cycle anyway. She can't get none. Okay, well, I'm glad because you better not get none either. Uh, Lahandra Hiller said, Chad and Up, we need Rail to come on and tell us how to land a secure man as an independent woman. It's hard to find men that appreciate a woman that wants you but doesn't necessarily need you to pay her bills. Mm. I love the podcast. That's a good Thank one. You. That's a because, good one. That's a yeah. good one. There's a fine balance, though. There's a fine but, balance in you being independent, but also letting the man know and allowing him to lead. And him feeling like you do need him as opposed to being all, you know, I don't need you. I don't need no help with you. And it, it's, that, that's a that's I a need good you. One. I want you, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. But many, many, many don't do it the right way. They yeah. lead with that. I'm independent and I don't need you spiel instead of understanding how to yeah. how to navigate well, that area. Hey, baby, my tie flat. Well, get your independent ass out there and change it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the hell you telling me for. You the boss, remember? What the hell you telling me for? Hey, yeah, they 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 can't go. They can't come. They can't come with that attitude with the hoorah, hoorah. I'm independent. You know, beating mm-hmm. your chest. I do everything myself. I don't need no man. If there's a way to approach it. There's a way to go about it to navigate that area. But I, yeah. I let her. I let her. She that, that yeah. that's her. Thing. Yeah, we gonna have real back on the teller. Just want to be love right ass. If you text your significant other and ask her how she do it, and she texts back, she's in a bad place mentally, how would you respond to that? Me, I'm gonna say, hey, what's going on, babe? What's on your mind? Yeah. You okay? I mean, what I mean, what happened at work? Mm. Something happened at work, something happened on the way to work. Um, because I think if it didn't anything transpire last night, so what's on your what's on your mind? That's that, you know. What's going on? Is there something going on in your family? Your mom okay? Your dad okay? Mm-hmm. Your brother? Your sister? I'm, you know, when she tell me she's in a bad place mentally, I'm on, I'm on, I'm, I need to ask questions to see why mm-hmm. and what's going on and how can I, how can I help fix it? My first, my first thought after getting something like to say real text me, man, I'm in a bad place mentally. 
the first thing I'm asking is, is there anything I can do to fix it? Mm -hmm. And am I part of the problem on why you are in that space? Mm -hmm. And then we go from there. Yeah. I think. Well, I ain't got one of those. I mean, normally you start texting and you can sense. I mean, even yeah. if they don't sell it, tell you, you yeah. can tell when they're like, they're off a little bit because mm -hmm. you've had conversation and all of a sudden they're not as, as, as talkative, as jovial. They're not the same person. So I know something is going on. Uncle and Ocho look forward to, oh, Aaron Gould. Uncle and Ocho look forward to the show all week. Nightcap has replaced all my other daytime shows. Thank you very much. Send me out, send me a shout out to my wife, Mother Nurse Maquilla, celebrating her birth, birth, birthday in Buffalo, New York. Maquilla, thank you. Aaron wants to give you a shout out because you are a superwoman and he's extremely, out. extremely proud of you. So keep up the gr great work, Maquilla, and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Maquilla. Turn up. I'm sure you're a Bills fan. <laughs> uh. Drain Master, uh, why you give Ocho such a hard time all the time? Please give Ocho his flowers. He's come a long way. I'm a long way. Yes, I have. Congrats, congrats to the gold. Now we have the platinum in sight. Ash, patiently, uh, number 11 of 1.16. Oh, so they can see who the first. Uh, that's his oh, that's his running joke. Okay, I was going to say, damn. <laughs> Trilla Munch, why do you make 30s? seem like old in the league uh like we can't put a youngin on their back i'm pretty sure ocho can run a guy first of all ocho ain't, ain't 30 but anyway i'm pretty sure ocho can run guy uh run guys easy might not run the route me uh might not run a route, i guess but sure but i'm sure he can still run around the league got yeah goddamn right goddamn right I, these these are the on best air? Got, yeah, on who on air on anybody, on anybody, you give shit. you give me the best DB in the NFL right now. I give him that work. Sauce, uh, um, Derek Stingley. Who else? Who else want work? Who else want smoke? Chat. Name some DBs right now. Man, I man, I man. These little young bulls, man. They ain't ready. They ain't built like this, man. I'm not put these feet on them boys, man. This ain't what they want. This is what I do, huh? Even at 56, boy, these boys to get this work. You hear me? Mm -hmm. I take them boys to school, man. Pretty Shit. Sure, no. Huh? Can't believe Ocho wife alone. Definitely a queen, but she's taking y'all. Y'all keep being great. Much love, South Seattle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Personal is a black YouTube. Hold on, is a black YouTuber similar to Mr. Beast possible? What's holding us back? I'm 26 and aspire to be the first black creator to hit a hundred million subs. Curious. Uh yeah, it's possible. Um, he had a head start. Yeah, you big have head, to big I mean, head start. I mean, you got to realize he's been at this for 11 years. Now, I don't know personally. I don't know how long you've been at it. Um, but you got to find your niche and like just once you find an algorithm that gets you the most views, you got to stay there. Mm -hmm. You got to stay there. So he found that he found an algorithm, an algorithm, um, and he's honed in on it. He's cornering the market, and he's been great at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I definitely think it's possible. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lanny Ray asks, if you ever ate cereal, what's your favorite kind? And if you ate, did you pour the did you pour the cereal before the milk, or did you pour the milk before the cereal like a that's, sociopath? That's a good one. I put, the, I put the cereal, then I put the milk on top of the cereal. Yeah, I, I think, isn't that the way everybody does it? No, I guess somebody put the, yeah, cereal, I, I, put the I, milk in I, first. I, that would make no that would make no sense to put the milk in first and put the goddamn cereal on top of the milk. That's, that's what was ass, my ass, the ass backwards? backwards? Ass backwards. I don't know. Man, Ocho, I mean, I think growing up, I mean, we mainly had cornflakes, but hold like, on. When I you had cornflakes, start... did you at least put sugar in your cornflakes? Yeah, for sure. Okay, you good, you Let good, you good, ass. you good. I'm just making sure but you good. When I got a little extra money, I would buy like dig them smacks. I would buy uh, Fruit Loops. Yeah, what you I know about? Buy... Hey, I don't like Fruit Loops. Hey, your Fruit Loops used to cut the roof of your mouth. Nah, I don't you remember that? that? Them digging smacks be banging though. What were those? Uh, uh, uh there was uh, uh, 
the donuts. The do what was the called? They were uh the donuts had like the little donut cereals. Cheerios? Nah, hell no. Nah. Cheerio wasn't nothing special. <laughs> I yeah, mean, I remember I used my to grand piss my grandfather ate Cheerios, but yeah. uh, Dunkin'. No, I, I remember like uh, Cookie Crisp. You remember Cookie Crisp? Oh, I remember Cookie Crisp. Yep, Cookie Crisp. And, and but there was uh donuts. I think that was the name of the cereal. Is, is there a cereal named Donuts? Yeah, Donuts. Yeah. I never forget them Fruit Loops. I used to um, I used to eat them so fast and put so many in my mouth at once. It used to cut. It used to cut the roof of my mouth. Yeah. I had I them apple jack. Hey, I tell you what else I had some too. What? Them King Vitamins. Anybody in the chat know? Now you know what you got if you ate them King Vitamins. King Vitamins or Flint Flintstone. Don't add no 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 chat. Don't act like y'all don't know about them King Vitamins. Y'all know y'all ate them King Vitamins. King? What is King Vitamins? <laughs> you talk about diamonds? No, 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 no. Hey, Chad, I know I ain't the only one that had no King Vitamins. Y'all need to stop this. I know y'all had them King Vitamins. That is, they, they laughing. <laughs> King Vitamins. I ain't never heard of that. You ain't never heard of King Vitamins? Nah, I, I know about them Flintstone Vitamins I used to have. Nah, they, nah, they know about them King Vitamins. They know about them. King Vitamins. Look up King Vitamin. Yeah, for sure. But they used to be an orange box. The original box. Look up the original box of the King Vitamin. The original box. The orange. The uh, orange. Uh, oh, so wait. Know. King Vitamin is a cereal? Yeah, that's him. Hold that's on. him yeah. right there. Y'all see that guy? Y'all see it, chat? Y'all know good well y'all know about that King Vitamin. I never heard of that. <laughs> what year that was? In the 50s? Nah. <laughs> you got them, if you got if you got them stamps, you know you got that $65 book. Y'all see now they got the EBD card, but they know about them books. Yeah, hey, them books be selling down here now. Hey, sixty five dollar book go for forty dollar cash. Yeah, them, them books used to sell down here, boy. <laughs> man, my whole I had a whole boy, my whole boy bucket to this date, man. He had some. So my, take me to the store. I said, "Where your money?" He said, "Man, I ain't got no money, man. I got food stuff." I said, "Get your ass out my car." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Get your ass out my car. I ain't finna take you nowhere, man. Come on, y'all, come on, get out." <laughs> I'm glad, I said, I'm glad I asked you before you got your ass there. <laughs> uh, Ocho, look at that right there, Ocho. Uh-oh, what you got? That, that big boy. Wait, wait, let me see. What's that, Petite? Or that Audemars? Pate. Pate. Oh, I said it Audemars. Audemars beget. Yeah, I know about that. I know about that. I got um just some simple, some, some simple tonight. What you got? Not, not that much. Philip Philip Klein. You know Philip Philip Klein? Philip Klein? Yeah, no, Philip Klein, Klein with Klein. a P. Yeah. Yeah, small. It, but what well, any any cost much. I just like the color. I like the neon color. So okay. I grabbed it. Yeah. And I put, you know, I put on one of the greatest ever. You know who this is. Don't don't I can't see because it's light. Oh, Maradona? Yeah, yeah. Diego. Yeah, Diego. Diego Maradona. One of the mm -hmm. greatest. One of the greatest. 86 yeah. World Cup, Argentina. Yeah, okay. I see you. The handball. You don't remember that. But anyway. Yeah, they, they, yeah, the hand of God. Yeah, I know. Yep. Oh, yeah. Dad, the protege. I love the show. Stay cracking up. May you uh, may you send Ocho that plaque, please, and ask him <laughs> how to spell plaque. <laughs> <laughs> hey, plaque. P-L-A-Q-U-E. Stop playing that. I do yeah. this. Yeah, I do this. Unfortunately, Dab, I'm not going to be able to do that currently at this point in time because I heard there's a uh, uh, a shortage of uh, postal workers. No, it's not. It's not. You just told me they make 170,000. UPS. <laughs> <laughs> Vitre, hey, Uncle Ocho, April Fool's is coming up. What have some of the funny pranks you guys pulled on? Uh, guys have pulled on. I, you know, the best part about that, Ocho, is that um, we weren't in the season, so the season's over with. Right, so that's when you probably would have got pranked. Prank, um, yeah, probably. It would have been, been some good. It would have been some good ones too, boy. If you was in season, yeah. boy. 
Yeah. I Ocho, I ain't gonna lie, Ocho. I ain't really big into like pranking and stuff. I don't really play like that yeah, no more. Me neither. Me neither. Nah, no. I ain't really Red, got no good pranks. Red Hood said, Man, I was born in 2001. These kids are lucky today. If I did half the ish they did today, I'd have to pick pick a sticker from getting beaten with my uh FYI having Amer- have African parents. Yeah, man, you couldn't like all that talking back. I don't want to. You know what? But my grandma would not fire for me. Like all that sucking the teeth, rolling your eyes, stomping your feet. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, these no, kids sir. get away a lot now. Huge fan, fellas. I'm a comedian and be more, and I have a TV show called Two Hood for Chicken on the YouTube. Uh, I go to different hoods to see who have the best chicken. Would love to have you on the show. What city you think have the best chicken and go Ravens? Wherever, wherever church is chicken at? Pop, uh, uh, Publix. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> the public weed. Hey, hey, that, hey, hey, something about Publix. I don't know where they get that goddamn chicken from, but it's good. It's, it's very yeah. good. Yeah. Derek 350. Uncle Ocho, my wife, Daniela, is celebrating our 28th anniversary. It would mean the world to us if we could get a shout out. Wishing you both of you nothing but the best and continued success. Derek and Daniela, happy 28th anniversary, guys. Damn, That's an 28? amazing feat. 28 years together. Hey, I need I need y'all. I need to talk to y'all. Yeah. I need to talk to y'all. Y'all on 28. I'm on four. I'm trying to get there too now. Yeah. Shit, I'm trying to get there. So I need I need to talk to y'all later at, at a later date. I like that. I'm gonna take notes. Yeah, damn, 28. Need, Boy, that's, yeah, that's a long time, Mojo. Woo! Shit. Anis Farm D asks Ocho versus Miles Garrett. Who's winning right now, Unc? Miles what? In a, in a fight? I beat Miles Garrett ass. Miles Garrett. And what wait, she didn't say t- what? I'll take Miles Garrett. I take Jason Garrett. I take <laughs> I'll take any other. <laughs> hey, man, I beat Miles Garrett ass, man. And what? You what we talking? Basketball. You can't, out, you, can't, you can't outrun Miles Garrett. You not gonna block Miles Garrett. You can't D him up on the court on hey, the basketball court. Don't, don't don't disrespect me like that. I've, I've beaten be- I've beaten elite NBA players in basketball. Miles Garrett ain't scoring. You ain't beat you ain't beat Miles Garrett. Man, please. Let, all right. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right. I'm I'm sure I'm sure you want to stick to that story, but I'm just telling you, I would beat Miles Garrett on the court, in the boxing ring, on the football field, in golf, in FIFA, in Call of Duty. And matter of fact, any NFL play, I don't care who it is, they not beat me in nothing competitive. In today's current game, nobody is, none of them beat me in nothing competitive at their position or any other sport. And that's how I feel. And if they want smoke and see this, they know where I'm at. I'll come to you. And didn't I tell you facts ain't feelings? And yeah, feelings what are I'm, facts? What I'm, what, I'm, what I'm talking about is a fact. Okay. What I'm talking about is a fact because I'm built like that. Well, I appreciate that. Please make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you for joining us again for another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, soccer jersey wearing, route runner extraordinaire, Bengals ring of fame honoree, pro bowler, all pro, Liberty City's own, Mr. Rail Rosado, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. You can listen through it through Nightcap, but we would greatly appreciate if you listen, listen and subscribe through the Nightcap podcast feed. Thank you guys for selling out Shea by Laportier. We have pinned the link at the top of the chat, but we're only taking pre-orders. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap, and we'll see you Sunday night.